Last episode. After having descended the walls of Queen's Grace, Blyken and Roland quickly picked up the trail of their missing compatriots. A short distance from their descent, the adventurers discovered Rothschild's floating corpse. After reviewing the wanted poster he obtained in Queen's Grace, Roland surmised the corpse belonged to the wanted man. He sawed off Rothschild's head with his dagger and brought his head with him. As Blyken and Roland followed the trail, they observed a landing that seemed like a perfect place to rest. On the landing, Blyken saw a treasure chest and attempted to open it. The chest released copious amounts of dust, forcing both Roland and Blyken to fall unconscious for two days. Back with the other group of party members, Stripe woke up as a new personality, May. May seemed to be depressed and tried to kill herself with alcohol poisoning. Later, Blyken and Roland woke up near the treasure chest they found two days earlier. Blyken was unable to resist attempting to obtain gold, and he ended up inhaling more of the dust, falling unconscious again. He passed out in shallow water and swallowed some of it. Luckily, Roland was able to expel the water from Blyken's lungs, keeping him alive and later waking him up. Merciless appeared again to Vecni, Stripe, and Prince. She reported the group was being pursued by at least a dozen Slay Rangers, led by Kevlin and Greystone. After her report, Vecni and Stripe saw Rowan and Blyken in the distance approaching them. May continued to drink and fell unconscious from all the alcohol that she consumed. The adventurers traveled away from their pursuers and back towards the front gate of Queen's Grace. Welcome back to another episode of Power Word Nerd. We are back with some yeah. more We're Dungeons here. And Dragons. It's only been four months. Our last session was uh, uh, late November October. 8th. We are back with more Dungeons and Dragons. We made it. After What's a that? long hiatus, so we are missing some of our players. Okay. Uh, so we we left that. off last time with uh, Rowan, Vecni, Blyken, Stripe, and Prince all getting chased in the woods by Kevlin and Greystone and the Slay Rangers. Is it like a stream um, too? Sorry? It was like a stream by it the It was woods? a stream. Okay. Yes. You were behind, you were like basically going around the whole castle. Yeah. Essentially. Is this the map? Is what you guys were doing? I have it in the other room. Okay. Yeah, we started going back towards where box? we got in, and then someone to then they warned us that someone was after us or something. Uh, or did Merciless say something? Mer Merciless, 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 did, Merciless yeah. warned us, so we're like, oh, let's go this way, and we turned around. Yeah. So uh, since we're uh, missing several nice. players, and also uh, Vecni, or I'm sorry, Vesiesh and Soren were still in Queen's Grace, waiting for everyone to return. Hmm. So what we're going to do, since we're missing several players, is essentially Roland and Vecni were able to slip the Rangers and return to Queen's Grace. We did it. While as far as everyone else is aware, Merciless and the rest of the party are still being pursued. Hmm. So we're just going to pick up in Queen's Grace with uh, Vesiesh, Vecni, and Roland. Well, did we got back in the city. We're just going to we're going to streamline it. We're just not going to spend an hour trying to role play. You right. guys walking through the gates trying to find each other. We're just the, not going to uh, do any of that. Do the guards just tell us to go meet up with Vesiesh and uh, the Queen's Court? Sure. Well, I believe the guards were specifically looking for Stripe and Prince, right. from what I recall. So Yeah, they didn't know that we were with them. I don't believe so. Because they couldn't see Stripe. Nope. Or anyone that's with them. And then she communicated with Prince. That's correct. Mm-hmm. And I have 36 pounds of dynamite. You, you do. <laughs> that, that's, that's true. <laughs> Good luck sneaking that in. They don't have metal detectors. They have that watchful eye person. Can't see what I have. He knows I printed out the mechanics for the dynamite over there. Yeah. He knows everything that's on your person. And everything he, he knows did. everything that's on your person? And everything you did for the whole time you were in Queen's Grace. Well, right. Camber, if you're not with Stripe, Camber can watch you from uh from anywhere. Mm. Kinda creepy. So 
So Vesius will be like sitting in the room, like looking out the window. And I guess Roland. Roland. Roland Beckney come in. And she'll look over and be like, where the hell have you guys been? What time of day is it? What time? What, uh, we'll say that you, you guys. Tell us what yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> say you. We'll say you arrived in around noon, around lunchtime. All right. So, are there any drow present? No, there are no drow standing right. watch during the day. Say, uh, you do see a, a, a new wanted poster posted though on, on the if we're in the city square as you walk through the town. Yeah, and oh, one of them. The prince? prince. Prince. Yep. I want a I human pirate my own copy with a red coat was traveling okay. with wanted escapee because he's my of friend chaos. And my Wait, how did they know that they were, we were with Rothschild? Because he said it when I was talking to him with Camembert. Mm. When I was king kai with him. Damn, 12,000, I mean 1,200 gold. All right, so instead of leaving them in the woods, I'm going to bring them in. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get 1,400 gold. Yeah, I could print, I could print you out one. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, so you said, what the hell are you guys doing here? No, where have you been? Uh, where have we been? We've, we went, uh, looking for Vecni, and then, uh, we well, got so split up from the rest of them. It's been three days. Well, where well, was the drows that we are? The drow that were here? Yes, there was a brigade of drows that burst into the, uh, the inns that we were at. They tried to arrest Stripe and myself. You mean the guards that were sent to bring you to here so we could have a nice place to sleep? The inn was nice and they were very combative. What did they oh. say to you? They, uh... Taking us in for... They're taking you into their custody. Yeah. They didn't explain why. Um, well, before, it, when I heard them rustle in with the door, I would cast this guy's cell. To... Just because to make yourself look uh, elvish, yeah. right? Okay. Um, the scarred elf. Because I told them that I hide my. Mm. That's why I wear my hood because I have the fake scars all over my face. Okay, I remember that. Um. Well, I mean, they are drow. They're not very personable. They are evil pigs. It's not fair to put all of them into one group. But was it fair when the uh, have you met every genocide drow? Side on the people of Cold, uh, what the hell was it? Cold, Cold Bank. Bank. Cold Bank. Was it a known war or was it a sack? Like they just came out of nowhere. That was a war that occurred. It, it was like a, it, the battle was very short, but that occurred during their campaign, the Burning Fist campaign that happened. Yeah, it was very was very brief. What, did they know the drow were coming? And it was like a sneak attack. Like, bah, we're here. Kind of like a sneak, a sneak attack. attack. But was it warring factions or they just? Well, Cold Bank had a military, but it got crushed very quickly. It was just uh, Marathi, the head of the drow, just didn't like him. Yeah, pretty much. Steam, steamrolled the uh, high elves. It was how fast was it? It was like a day or, so, or like two days or yeah, something. It was, it was so fast. It was nothing. They just came out of nowhere, destroyed Cold Bank, killed everyone, mm. and left. Yeah. It um, happened during the Burning Fist campaign, which was awesome. By the, the women way. and the children too. There were casualties of war. And that was only a group of them. You don't know every single drow. I know enough as a drow. That's that's like to say that all humans are disgusting, foul pigs who don't shower. Have you met humans? I'm half elf. Oh, that's right. Okay. Prince. Prince. That's not all humans. So I He's very clean. He's a very much of an asshole. Yeah, but he's clean. Yeah, so to asshole. say that all humans are dirty. I didn't say that. I did. That was my example. Yeah, but that is not true. All drow exactly. are pig dogs and deserve to be throttled and killed. No, I disagree, but I'm not going to argue with this. It's a waste so of time. What were you doing while we were hiding from the guards and going um, through the sewers of Queensbridge? Well, an emissary from Ferelden was here and we came to see him. And he was able to get us this room so we didn't have to pay for lodging or food. I've had meal breakfast lunch and dinner every day while you guys were apparently trudging through the woods they uh rothschild oh, never mind. we well, left like, rothschild in the sewer correct his corpse his, uh, I, I think roland cut, cut his head off and I you have the head we can get 700 gold yeah i 
I, I believe his body was left in the stream behind the Queen's Grace walls, like to the north of yeah. Queen's, Queen's Grace, I believe. Where's so, your brother? I haven't seen him in days. I thought he was with you. No, he wouldn't tag along with the likes of us. Oh, well, I don't perceive to know everything my brother does. He's a weird person. <laughs> Was it strange? I thought you two were so close. Uh, well, don't hold up. My pen's leaking. Well, that's not good. He's talking about his penis. <laughs> he's peeing on himself. We're all pretty handsome, so it makes sense. Well, when you're in a strange land, you keep the ones you know the best closest, and even knowing him as little as I perceive to, well, it's better than what I know of you. You were the one pirates. Who wanted to come to Queen's Grace, right? So what are we still doing here? I was waiting for you. Oh. Well, we are here now. Well, now we don't have pins, so we don't have a, a mission to go to the opponent's bog. Oh, were you able to... <laughs> That's right. You were given a date for when they were going to leave, too. I forget what it was. I don't yeah. remember. September or something like that. Uh, were you able to convince the Queen to fight on behalf of one? Or so will she fight on behalf of I don't one? fucking know. I'm going through a lot of notes here. I think she told you that she would consider it. Yeah, she that, gave um, you missions. She wanted you to prove your work. Vess offers the ally legend to Inez. Inez convinces... Or, uh, uh, ally legend to Inez. Convinces Inez to consider it. Ask for a new map. Where's my new map? What we did was the map that you had, we made it so that your travel time was halved. Because oh, they, okay. they gave you some more... Ac Lord Cambert used magic on your map to make it more accurate so you could travel more efficiently. Mm. Even through those woods? It would be, you'd be moving twice as fast through the woods, but I think, weren't you moving like, wasn't it like negative, backward day of space or negative something? Negative speed, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, Which kind of makes sense. Yeah. The I have woods, to, I don't remember what she said. I think I have to do some, I think. prove my loyalty Dan, to her somehow. Dan pretty much said you had to do some of those quests and she'll think about it. Yep. Fuck around and find out. She's not just gonna devote herself to ally with uh, with one. Although she is also opposed to vigor. But yeah. But Kate, well, one wants to be king of Dova. Yeah, I heard he was a prick too. You guys haven't met him yet, I don't believe. Oh. No, but the sailor guy on the boat said that uh, one and vigor are both equally shitty. You remember that? I do. That was in the one, the, your mini campaign. Yep. Yes. I try to remember that. I remember the stuff we did. I have a good memory. You do? Yeah. What's Joe's yeah. character's name? <coughs> Soren. 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 Very original name, not from Magic the Gathering or anything. That was Pop Loco that told you that, right? The big fat black yeah, guy yeah, with yeah. the bald head and the, or with the turban? Yeah. Yep. That's right. Pop Loco. Because he knew Hainsworth, he knew one, and he knew someone else. Or he knew a couple other people. They know the knives, or no, not the knives guy, the uh, the other nude nude guy who was annoying on the boat. Sins? Sins, Sins yes. Stole, he stole Ian's boat. He stole, I'm not sure how many, huh. which of you guys knew that, know that, but yeah, he took the bastard sire and he defected to Vigor. Oh, he did? I yeah. didn't know that. You might not have been there for that session, maybe. What a piece of Did shit. I get a chance to talk to Kevlian? I can't remember. You yeah. spoke to him in the Royal Council room? I don't think you spoke with him one on one, though. You but I did tell him. You told him the Burning Fist needs to reassemble. Yes, you had that, you had that conversation with him. All right. And, so. he, and he agreed that when the time comes, he will help, he will aid you. Okay, so I'll. He had a little trepidation because of his queen. And he told you that he doubted Oda Waster would help because Oda Waster is one of, of the shoot. Fury Lords of Vigor. He's what with Vigor? Fury He's one, of the, Fury, uh, one of the three Fury Lords, one of their leaders. I thought the Fury Lords were part of Chaos. No. Yeah. Chaos is a different group. So many groups. There are a lot of groups. It's very faction based. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so I'll tell you guys. Um, I don't remember what, why we have to get the Burning Fist back together. But it's part do of you remember? Backstory. Yeah, because the Wilma, or. No, I, because. Well, I know why, but. I don't remember why. There was a big threat coming, and she yeah, believed only they could stop it. She didn't really tell you exactly what the threat was, so you don't know. So I was up there. Um, the real reason why we were sent here from Ferelden 
was there's a large threat, threat that threatens the world, and we need to reunite the heroes, the Burning Fist. And they Who? Have, <laughs> I don't know. They just told me. Did, would, are they, like, renowned, the Burning Fist? Well, you would know King Dokken. Right. I don't know if you would know that. I don't know if you would know that yeah, he was okay, a member yeah. of them. I don't know if you would know that he was one of them, though. Yeah. Um, but would they know the Burning Fist are? Are they like folk heroes? Why don't you roll a history, Roland? For sure. With a DC of twelve. Because they did stop. They did save the world, so it's possible uh, that people might know about them. History. Ooh, but it was wow. like it was twenty-five years ago, I think. So. Yeah, it was. It wasn't recent. Thirteen plus five, uh, eighteen. So you were familiar with the idea of the Burning Fist, but you don't know who the members are or really too much about them, but you were familiar that they saved uh, the continent of Thadeus from a vampire they tried to conquer. Right. Uh, but Vesiesh would be well-versed in the history. You know everything about them. You grew up in Thadeus. So since they really know about them, I don't. Um, I'm just going to have the time and tell them about them. Okay. So they'll figure out why we have to bring them together because they're powerful and blah, blah, blah. So you're just going to say, like, I explained to them about the Burning yeah. Fist. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're giving uh, them that. They actually know it. I don't. So yes, <laughs> they, they actually do know all about it. So that. what is this threat that they need to assemble to stop? Well, uh, your mom did not tell you. I don't know. Who's your mother? My mother. Why do you need to know who my mother is? Well, she must be someone important. She sent you She's on married quest. to King Dokken. Then why didn't you just say that? Are you related to King Dokken? No. Is he not your father? No. He's my step stepfather. Yeah. Stepfather. Hmm. Uh, okay, so you said you met one of the members at court here, Kevlian. And Kevlian has agreed to join forces when the time is right. And he gave me the heads up about Odorwaser, the cowardly orc. His words? Yes. Sounds like something. Uh, okay. So there's him. Uh, and father will join the fight. So that's two. How many are there? Uh, father, you mean your King Dokken? Zombini, Odoacer, Bretson, Gragas, Marigold, Wundry. Are you on all the characters? Sorry. Even the NPCs. Or you just want PC characters? Wh whoever she told you to get, which was, I think, all of them. All so there's the like 50 of them. No, no, there's like eight of them, seven of them. I think Morgrim, she might have said. I don't remember if she said Morgrim or not. Oh, right no. Morgrim was the guy that gave you your quest at the beginning of Steve's campaign. I don't remember. He's dead. Aren't they all? Aren't most of them? Except for the PCs, yeah. So why would we? Odaway, sir, Kevlian said he'll join. Uh, there's, you said, Bretson. Where is he? Was he on one of the wanted posters? Yes. Oh, uh, Bretson, I, I saw him on one of those wanted posters. I think he's part of Chaos. So. I, I question the, the hero, heroics of this, this group. So many of them fight for the wrong side. Well, they're all fighting for different sides, it sounds like. Well, there's no right side in a war. It is the side you choose that you choose is right. Who is to say that Vega is wrong? Well, that's pretty contradictory to what you were just saying about the drow. Yeah, and I chose my side was right, and it's not contradictory. I was on the other side. But you just said there's no wrong sides. You know, what that you're not a part of? To, mm. to him, the drow were on the wrong side. Mm. This war has nothing to do with, with me. Why are I'm you not from here? here. Huh? Yeah, Why you are, are here. here. Why are you here? I'm just following you. Yeah. So there's a connection. That's is there a true. love connection? No. He reminds me of a boy that I, that I never knew. She says that to me a lot. I don't, I don't know what she means. A boy that you never knew? Yes. Yeah. You sound awfully hoarse. Huh? You sound hoarse. <laughs> Your voice, it is sketchy. Okay. I'm just saying. Are you sick? No. Okay. You sound, you sound different. Alright, so... 
Who, who were the other remaining members? There was a uh, Gragas and a uh, Marigold. Does anyone know their whereabouts? Nope, we have to go find them. They're on this continent. How do we know that? That's what your mom told you. That's what my mom said. Yeah. My, mom, my mom said. So all the members are on this continent, but we don't know where they are, except for Caprian. We and don't, don't know exactly and, where and he is. Doken, we, uh, we did know where he was, but he might be gone now. Well, I can contact him. All right, so who, do we have any idea who would be the closest member of the Burning Fist that we can... What were the other quests on? that we got? Oh. Yeah, maybe we could work on those since we actually... Have something to go I on. spoke with Inez to join us against the Vigor. Vigor, and she gave us a list of quests to complete. Like, like a video game, like, like a, a terrible list? video game. <laughs> like a laundry list. Yeah, you know, you play video games and then you like accidentally accept all these quests, and you have that quest screen that you never look at. It's like Lost Ark. Yeah. <laughs> like, go uh, talk to this person, go talk to that person, go talk to this person. Uh, well, maybe before we leave, I did manage to cut off the head of this Rothschild guy, and I pull out the stinky-ass head. <laughs> Ooh, uh, Roland! Uh, get the... Get the All right, I'll put it back. He's he's worth 700 gold. It might be a good amount to Still leave Still disgusting. The, well, we should probably turn that in. Yeah. Do you know where I can turn this in for the money? To the guards. It says it on the wanted poster. Yeah. Can I have that wanted poster? Just anyone, I guess, right? Or can they all lead to the same person. Collector award with Slay Royal Council. Shelter. That, so that's that shelter. Right right shelter. For um, yeah, we're so shelter. She'll pull out of her pocket the Prince Wanted poster. And do you know where our friend Prince is showing up? And slide you the wanted poster. We had that. Oh, we saw that when we were walking in town. We uh, we separated when we were in the woods. I believe that mm. he is with uh, the goblins. Oh. Hopefully the, those uh, goblins don't come back. What do you mean they are good? The ranger, Foul creatures. The rangers were collecting them, so depending on how good this Keblian is, they might be well, if back I, had, soon. I heard he doesn't have a nose. Did, Did I say he didn't have a nose? He, he didn't have, remember. He wasn't hiding it. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't have a nose. So he can't smell them like we did. Oh, he uh, he commands. smells the goblins. You can't smell them? They're disgusting. I've lived on a paddy sheep. I mean, you're not the greatest smelling person either. <laughs> he, uh... No, Becky keeps herself clean. He has a whole... If you live on a pirate ship, it's impossible. He can manipulate oh. water. He has a whole bunch of slave soldiers that can smell, so... I guess they'll collect them in short order. Mm. Mm. Well, hopefully the crazy one yeah, doesn't come back. Keep track of him. Is... Ah. Mm. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's go find these. I'm just going to pretend that you wrote all these quests down. Oh, they gave me, like, paper. Uh, they did. Why don't we uh, go find these Lord Styles and Lord Monster of Chaos? And teach them the justice of the queen. What's the justice of the queen? It says bring queen the queen's justice to Lord Stars oh, 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 for oh. chaos, for talking disrespectfully of Queen Inez. Does it have? So the, you want to go on an assassination mission? I mean, I would. Does it have the location of it? No. It says Lord Shelter. That's who assigned it. Oh, we Perhaps we it. go talk to him and turn into a stinky head. Sounds good. Right. I'll show you how to get there. All right. And bring him to Shelter's office. Okay, so uh, the royal, it's that, that keep, essentially, where a lot of the royal councils stay at. Okay. So you arrive, you, you walk there, I assume. So you arrive at the front door, um, and there are two guards standing in front of the door, as usual. Two high elves. Uh, we're here to see Lord Shelter. Uh, in Elvish, he asks you, on what, oh, for what business? Uh, this, this one received a few from the queen that we need clarification on and 
I was hoping to get a reward for this, and I pull out Rothschild's head. This is supposedly the wanted man Rothschild. You look down at the uh, the head, and um, they look they look at each other, and they say, "One moment." One of them walks back into the uh, into the keep. <clears throat> About two minutes go by. He comes back out. Says, "You may you may come in. Go right to the royal go right to the royal council chamber." We'll do that. Yep. Uh, so you enter what looks like a large throne room, uh, raised high above, sitting on a fancy dark blue marble throne. You see a fancy looking high elf wearing a pink and light blue raiment. She has a flowing pink cape and pink eyeliner. She has a very cute face, pink lipstick on her lips, uh, silky black hair done up in a very fancy foreign fashion. A large square earring in each ear. The earrings are very bright and pink in color. And she wears a diamond necklace that sparkles beautifully in the light. On either side of her, you see the royal council. You haven't met them yet. Vestiash already has, but you have a high elf um, who also is dressed very fancy. You have um, an orc who is dressed in this gold, this gold fancy merchant's clothes with a gold turban. You have... Isn't he in a half orc? Uh, he's a half-orc. Brian was right. Damn. Um, you see this fairy with white hair and blue skin. A rose. A rose, that bitch. You Think she's see, silly. You see... Um, the this guy. And you see, you see Lord Camembert, and you see the drow Dakarth Terpmany. Uh, that guy sh sees the drow, and she shoots daggers at him, but there's, I'm sh assuming there's tons of guards in here. There are. There, just like how I had that set up, Mm. There's guards all around the room. She's heavy so armor. She, also, people that are dressed in clothes that look like they might be mages. Oh, so she just puts her hand on the hilt of her sword. Uh, Lord Shelter, he stands, and he says, <clears throat> Vessia, yes, you've returned. Yes. What is your, what is your report? Lord Shelter, um, and she'll point to Roland. Um, it appears that my friends here have captured Rothsburg. Oh. Rothschild, and slain him, and she'll point to Roland. Got the head in my hand. <laughs> ah, what does the uh, the water poster say? Dead or alive? Yep. What's the reward? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay. Uh, bring it closer. Sure. It's, Roland, it smells really bad. It it does. Roland uh, walks up, holds out the head in front of him. One of the guards uh, walks over a high elf, mm -hmm. and he tries to take it from your hands. Like sure, takes it. Let lets him. And he presents it to Lord Shelter. Mm. Mm. Yes, see that they are paid. Uh, another guard comes up with a small coin, a small coin bag, and he walks up to, Roland had it, right? Yeah. He walks up to Roland, he opens up the bag, and he starts counting out gold coins. 700? And he gives you your 700. All right. Uh... Pfft. Oh, I'll Jesus. introduce them. Give me some. So I'll be like, this is, what's your full name? Roland what? Roland Hardum. This is Roland Hardum and Vecni. I am Captain Vecni Avunque of the uh, Golden Tusk. I'll give you 300. Shelter says, my pleasure. Uh, everyone else in turn stands and gives a greeting. Uh, the orc stands up and he goes, oh, I'm Joey McGordon, nice to meet you. Um, <laughs> A rose stands up and she goes, mm -hmm, we're ready, Matt. <laughs> um, Unfortunately. Dakarth just gives like a huge stand, just gives you a solemn nod, uh, stay, sits back down. Cambert stands and he says, yes, nice to meet you again. And sits down. And the queen, Inez, stands and she says, it is a pleasure. Just yeah, sits back down. Pleasure is ours, your queen. Yeah, you okay. And she uh, takes her hat off and bows. She puts her hat back on. You gain one renown with the sleigh. That was easy. <laughs> Remember how they made a big deal about that when you first met them? Mm -hmm. What? Because it was proper. Oh. Cambert demanded everyone bow, but um, he's not doing that right now. But he did demand when Soren and Bess went in there originally. No, did he? Or yeah. We would have done it because we're royal people. I thought he demanded it. I don't think so. Oh, no? Well, you, then you just did it. Because he was going that's to That's probably why we got a plus two. He was going to demand it. Yeah, so. that's why we, I got a plus two instead of plus one. Could be. I don't remember. Um, so, 
uh, Vesiesh will speak with, or look to Lord Shilter and be like, um, we were going over the uh, quests that were, we received Is earlier. Shilter the drow? No, Shilter's no. a high elf. Dark, dark Earth is just a Shilter's a very fancy looking uh, high elf with black, long black hair. Can I see that real quick? He looks very distinguished. Um, and Tall. We were looking to take, bring the Queen's Justice to Lord Stars and Lord Monster. Do you have any information on their whereabouts that would help us bring the justice? Shelter stands and he says, well, I think that it, <clears throat> he says, I think it was Kevlian who had the intel on those, but uh, those two. However, if you want to search for them, a good place to look would probably be the Bird Haven, oh, yeah, it's right here, Bird Haven. ruins where Slay has a, or not Slay, I'm sorry, where Chaos has a encampment of sorts. Wasn't that all the way back? At the one camp. All the way to the side of the map. Uh, do you have any way to teleport us close to the ruins? So that we could accomplish this task quickly before they get away? Kim Burt uh, says, I do not. And Rose also says, Sorry, that's not something I can do. At least okay. six fucking sessions of us trying to get across this. Sound, sounds like it. Uh, okay. Uh, is there any other thing we could do on the long trek back to Birdhaven that's on the way? Um, uh, <clears throat> Shelter says, since you were willing to do something in our service, we would be willing to part with some horses for you oh. to lessen your travel time. Great. Um, would it be too much trouble to maybe get some rations for the trip too? I don't want to. Get levels of exhaustion. <laughs> and uh, while he's talking, Jackie never takes her eyes off the drow. Hmm. Would I notice that? Roll a uh, insight. <gasps> he's rolling against me. Yes, he's, he's you're allowed to roll against other characters. He's rolling to see if he notices something. Insight or perception? Our perception is probably more. It's the same. Yeah. 13? Yeah, he knows. Um, so she's going to like nudge her and be like, what are you doing? Stop. Yeah. They're all over the place here. You just fucking feel DCD. Uh, so what did they say when I asked for? I grab a piece horses. of dynamite, light it, and throw it at the drow. What do you do? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just like <laughs> the camera bird would be like... God. When I ask yes. for ra rations, did they say... Oh, do you have any right now? Uh, no. Yes, you have plus one. Oh, did I get the same for... You had... Well, I had plus one, so I'm assuming we all had plus one. No, it's just Kevin. Yeah. Well, Kevin's the only one that got it. So I do but not. I had a plus one, now I have plus two. Oh, okay. So you have a plus two. Do you have any right now that you're aware of? I don't think so. Okay, so just roll a persuasion. Okay. You see, he's 10. Persuasion. Oh, that's one of my better. 17 plus 4. 21. Noise. Joey says, <clears throat> Well, after you guys leave here, I'll have some rations brought out to you oh. to, to help you get all the way over to Birdhaven Ruins. Thank you. Is that, voice, is that voice off? No, that's I, don't remember. I think it's his voice. Sure. I think it is, yeah. It works. Um, would you happen to be able to spare a ranger that would guide us there to get us there quicker? <clears throat> Shelter says, that I cannot author authorize. Our first ranger would decide such matters, and he is currently out. You have no way to contact him? Well, we do, but he's on a very important mission. He's chasing after some near-do-wells that plot the destruction of our city. Why yeah. would anyone want to do that? That I do not know. You do have such a nice city here. I thank you. Where would we take they, great pride in the city. Where would they even get like the Let's supplies to do that? No, the claim is I've said too much. I can't elaborate on that. Okay. That's fine. Well, I'll help you find those ne'er do wells and bring them to the Queen's Justice. Hmm. And she bows her head. I appreciate that. Me too. Although we won't be here if they succeed, so I don't mind. <laughs> All right. Oh, we need the map. 
<laughs> ah, see if I can find it. And uh, yeah, Vecni still doesn't take her eyes off the the drill. What is his position? Lord Shelter. He's no. handed over to Karth. No, to Karth. The Karth is the master of war. Master of puppets. And I'll whisper that to to him, uh, to her. But he's the master of war. He's not the one you want to pick a fight with. Oh, the Ral I want to pick fight with. Understand, but what's his name? The Karth. D A K R. Th. But he commands all of the Queen's legions. A slight towards him is a slight towards her army. How does the High Elf keep the Drow not caught? As I said, not all Drow are evil. They are all. They all follow the Spider Queen Marathi. That's not true. Well, the Karth is from Ferelden. He follows Dokken. I did not believe any single draw sees. The finest hand drawn map ever created by a person. It is. Is that the really bad one? Probably. Excuse me? <laughs> that took me hours to make. Didn't you get your you mean, daughters it took to do me it? hours to Jocelyn to make? <laughs> what? Oh no, this one's better. Okay. It's the same exact one. Oh no, it's not. Never mind. That took me hours to make that. With crayons? Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah. Definitely correct. Yes, that was me with Perkins. Hey, I like your pink castle, though. That's cute. It's Queen Grace. That's nice. Very nice. And where's Park Haven on there? <laughs> it is on the other side. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Is there a closer one? Closer quest? No, there's two of them that go to Bird Haven. Well, Lord Shelters have us go to Bird Haven, and Greystones um, have sent me and Vest to Birdhaven Graveyard, so there's another one at Birdhaven. Lord Monster it, from Chaos is in Birdhaven. Uh... Wasn't there one that, a mission that was over at Widow's Falls? Uh... Like dynamite, right? He's got the list of missions. Where's Vigor Valley City? Uh, that's middle, or top, top, top left. Okay. Well, we have a mission there. We could probably stop there on our way to Birdhaven. Can we cut through Widow's Falls? We have to find Lord Weald. Yes. Do we know where Lord Weald is? Lord Weald is in the one camp. Still? As far as, as, far as you're oh, aware. We can stop at the one camp. We can stop at we the can. one camp. And how far do we travel a day? Well, we'll have horses now. You were doing four spaces a day, but you now you're going to go twice as fast without the horses because of what Camembert did for your map. Okay. And now you're going to go twice that fast because of the so we horse. we 16 spaces. Damn! We go fly! We can actually only, and then I'll cut down from six sessions to two sessions. Yeah. She. Well, you got you got that thing with the map, and you got horses. So. Where's this? Can you see you the, the Sang power? Citadel? Sang Citadel? Is it's, it's not on there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to miss uh, Joe Biden's State of the Union. Okay. Damn. <laughs> got to pause. Uh, but, uh, butter and peanuts. Uh. All right. Uh, so, what'd you say? That thing Sang is not City. on the map. That's not on the Probably map. Probably past that bridge. three spots that we basically have to go. Yeah. So we'll just end our... Do you want to leave the chamber and start planning our trip? Uh, yeah, I think we should get on our way. It's quite the trek. Um, where can we pick up the horses? At the stables. They're uh, near the entrance to Queen's Grace. You actually have a map of Queen's Grace. I think it's in one of your folders. A printed out map. I okay. made it! Um... So, uh, Vessiash will do her the courteous courtly thing, be like, we must do a do and be on our way. See how many of these quests and tasks we can complete for you. Lord Shelter says, yes, you have my leave to go. She'll bow to everybody and then a special, like an extra long bow to the queen, your majesty. <laughs> this is it. And as uh, Vessiash walks past. It's a printed out map. Yeah. For the computer. Like, uh, as uh, she so, walks oh, past, no, Becky will also see. turn to the Queen of Medic. The old face. Again, with removing her hat, bowing, putting her hat back on, walking out. Okay. With one last glare at the drow. The drow. He looks back at you coldly as he has been, but his demeanor doesn't change. Uh, I wish that there was a way to tell the prince. Where we were headed. Mm. I'm sure uh, you guys have a plan of meeting back up. We got separated. We were being chased. By who? The Rangers. The Rangers. 
Well, they were just going to bring it back here. Well, that's where we are. Well, maybe they'll meet us here soon. Well, I would hope not. Prince has a uh, ends uh, stripe. The Poles have uh, wounded posters. Maybe we can convince them to release them into our charge. We do need help with these tasks. Mm. So, we... Would I know that there's ways... Yeah, because I've seen him do it. Can you communicate with him? Uh, let's see what spells I got. I've seen you do it before. How? He has the cantrip one that's 120 feet. Nah, I never had a message. That. Don't you have that? No, I had oh. disguise self and charm. Then never mind, I didn't see you do it. Hammer was letting you guys kinkai it. Yeah, I don't. Know. But they don't know that. Yeah. Do I know that of magic spells to communicate? I don't think you'd have it in, in, in depth, an in-depth knowledge. I would, I would think that it's possible. Right, arcane, sure. Forty years. Wouldn't that be an arcane roll? Yeah, make it an arcane roll. DC fifteen. If you know the specific spells. I don't have a DC fifteen. Okay. <laughs> um, is there a Magic shop in this uh, town. Yeah, you. Yeah, then, you you were there that. already. Yeah. Is that is, that, is, is there? Yeah, you were there with. Uh, There's a school of magic. Like Yeah. Or, I, all I know is a school of magic. We went with. That's where Lord Camembert mm. hangs out. You were with. You went there with Blyken, and oh. he kept trying to buy all the potions. Right. He, tried he did buy, buy a bunch. Yeah, he did, and he tried to buy a, a roll of Revivify, but it was too much. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of expensive stuff there. But there was, a, there was a big list of items there if you wanted to swing by there. Oh, well, do they have a ascending stone? Does Bring it the person you need. Yeah. Yeah, second one. Yep. Yeah, we always give it to Prince or whatever when they get captured. Mm-hmm. I don't remember him saying he had one, but you didn't ask if they had one. All right. All right. Never mind. We'll, we'll meet up somehow. We might. We'll meet up somehow. Uh, shouldn't we stock up before we go? They will have rations ready for us soon, so... Well, do we need any... Maybe we should get some potions, too? It could be... It's a long trip. It could be deadly. Out there. As um, you guys are having this conversation, a uh, guard leaves the keep with a sack. And he just doesn't even say anything. He just walks up to you guys, just gently puts it on the ground next to you, and he walks back into the keep. Vessel, bow our head, and then... Thank you. Is that for child's head? Looks he doesn't. Like, he doesn't answer you. He just walks back. Much too large to be a head. Well, how big is that? Is it? Is it our sack of grocery rations? bag size? It's pretty small. Very generous. All right, I'll pick it up. Okay. Open it. You see fifteen rations in the bag. Rations? That would be. I need rope because I left mine in the uh, sewer. You do need to go shopping. Yep. I do need to go shopping. Let's go shopping. So can we go to a find a store or a shop? So there is a bazaar of multiple small shops. Yeah. It's on the uh, in the center of town. Yeah, I believe it was in the center. I think it just has pretty much the basic bazaar items that are in the uh, DMG. Okay, then I'm just going to buy. It's very bustling. Oh yeah, I had it. Page one sixty. I'm gonna buy two lengths of 50 foot rope. So that's two gold. Sure. You can do that. One of the uh, one of the individuals there does that for you. It's a very bustling area, by the way. There's a lot of commerce going around. There's also a lot of guards. There's a lot more guards than there was when you guys first ar- arrived. Seems like in general, there's just a much more, a bigger military presence in the town. Okay. It's two. Hmm. <laughs> uh, block attack. Quick fishing. Are there rivers and stuff along the way? Uh, is anybody else going to grab anything? Oh, I don't have my book. I don't know what they have. Uh, I like to travel light. Uh, they have clothes? Yeah. Okay, Vesiesh wants to get a pair of pants instead of a dress. 
Okay. Uh, you see there is one s little stall that has a bunch of clothes. They have some a little bit fancier type stuff, and they have some more like casual type stuff that's more something a common person would have. Uh, so she wants somewhere in between. Like regular, like riding pants. Riding pants. And like a, a, a blouse jacket-ish combo. You see you see stuff like that. Okay. So how much? The uh, shopkeeper tells you that it's a one gold for each garment. Okay. All right. So she's just going to get like a whole new outfit because her riding, her formal wear is all destroyed from walking or riding for days and just wearing that shit. So she's like, you know what? I got to make a change. She's going to kind of dress like. Back me. Just gonna copy her style. Like almost like a pirate type style. Kinda. Okay. Like mm. the pants, boots. She won't like a blouse and a jacket. Or just a rider type of. Yeah, and then she can throw her cloak over top. Okay. You you have that elven kind cloak, right? Yeah. Okay. What? You have magic item? I have. Yeah. What you do? I don't know. I have a cloak of elven. Uh, kind. and I'm gonna it's buy. It's a wondrous item. Uh, Ooh. a hunting trap. How much is that? Five gold. Sure. That's the, they have all the basic items. There's a whole bunch of stalls. So there's like a hunting. There's like a stall that's selling all kinds of high hunting type items. And like a have, stall that has like lock picking and grapnels. Like you have all that stuff. Uh, and she's gonna buy fish tackle. We okay. Have, we have to eat. How much is that? One gold. Sure. So that's a total of eight gold so far. Okay. Roland, you're there, right? I am. You feel this uh, nudge on your the back of your left elbow, like a finger. Okay, I turn uh, to see what it is. You see this couple sitting there, very elderly humans. The woman has wrinkly skin, very very leathery, wrinkly skin, and she's wearing this purple, um, like bonnet type of thing. You know, you know, like the, uh, what are those called? Those Afghan. Okay. No, not Afghan. What's what's called? Just the head part. A bonnet. It's a bonnet. Okay. Yeah, there you go. She's so got this, like, purple bonnet. And the old man, he has this cane. And he just is very, like, uh, hunched okay. over. I'll He's got a cane. Can, can, can I help you? The woman says, mm, you're a half-elf, aren't you? Yes, that's correct. Well, I come here every day for... Quite a long time since this bazaar was established, and uh, was looking to offload some this item I have, and something about you is just striking me as special. I'd like to see if you'd like to purchase what I have. Uh, sure. What is it? What do you What do you have? It's this ball sack, and now you're gay. <laughs> shaking. She's shaking just because she's old, just very decrepit, leathery, shaking. She goes into her pocket and pulls out this. Uh, rectangular wooden case. She says this. What is it? This? Uh, can't you see it? She oh. just slowly shaking, grabs the lid of this wooden case. It's very plain. There's no design on it or anything. Okay. And lifts the lid off. And it appears to be some kind of a deck of cards. Oh, deck of many things. <laughs> and she oh, says... Oh, shit. Deck of... Oh, God. She says... Oh, boy. I have these cards. They... Can help you. I can tell that you're on some kind of a great undertaking. And uh, these will help your your foes see things that aren't there. Okay. Uh, how mu how much do you want for this? It's Eighty one hundred gold. Eighty one hundred. <laughs> you well, not anywhere near that. I do not. Uh, well, I. I appreciate your keen eye, miss, but I don't have anywhere near that much money. I didn't think you would. She puts the top on, she says, but don't forget me, and that I'm here, and that this is something I'm going to save just for you. And she puts it away. What's your name, ma'am? Uh, my name is Mala. Mala? Mala. Uh, I live here. I come to the bazaar every day. I'll be waiting for you. Return. And how many how many people did you say you thought were special and tried to sell that deck to? <laughs> <laughs> I've come here every day since the bazaar was established. You were the first and the only. Insight check. Yeah, you can roll. Uh, where's my shit? 
Let's see. On site, I have none. Twelve. You don't believe her. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, uh, okay, well, uh. I don't believe you. <laughs> thank, thank you for the offer. I'll, I'll make sure to remember you. And I'll, uh, go catch up to Vexney or something. Okay. I'll, say, I'll, uh, whisper to Vexney. That woman just tried to sell me a deck of cards for... 8,100 gold. Well, we are at the bazaars, that's what they do here. Yeah. But she's trying to swindle you. you. You look like you have money, maybe. I guess. I mean, that's a ridiculous sum of money if she just hoping someone is just stupid enough to walk by and just pay her that. I don't know. In the, uh, I guess a very pretentious queen. I'm sure there are very many rich people. Mm. I guess. Yeah. Uh, and help me find a place to sell these, and I pull out Danny's mace and Mulbrax's sphere. Uh, Where can I sell those? I'm gonna ask the guy that I bought all this. I bought a tent too. So, okay. Uh, the guy that you bought the hunting stuff from? Yeah. He looks over the uh, items and he says, "Hmm, you know." I could take the spear off your hands, but the uh, the mace you might want to find someone selling weapons, or perhaps go to the armory. Maybe they'd be interested in. Um... Was that why? What I'm asking, where is the uh, armory? Are the armorers and the uh, weapons? He directs you to wherever it is on that map. I don't remember. Okay. Well, how much are you offering for the spear? Uh, it seems pretty finely ma made. It's like these red feathers. Um, well, fifty. Uh, Seems like it's kind of special, fancy. Wasn't it Let me, uh, I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Let me uh, go over to the armor and see what they offer. Sure. Did you ever identify it or no? I, well, yeah, we know what it does. It does like 1d4 poison and you take one poison uh, for using it. Okay. Cursed. I don't know. I don't remember what Danny's mace did. I think it's just a fancy mace. No, it, is, it has special properties. Damn it, I'm gonna look through my shit. I don't notes. remember. It's on, the, it's on the Discord. Damn it, I gotta go to shitty Discord. Sorry. I don't, I don't have every item I've ever given you just sitting out. Uh, uh, okay, so roll that. to identify that ring that I had that I got from the dead people's house. What fucking ring did I give you? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> uh, go ahead. You don't know. One. Well, you failed. I failed. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have to go look up to figure it out. It was in the attic of one of the uh, dead gnomes' house. As we're walking, um, Vecni's going to say to these two, uh, do you remember those gnome households? Was it, they said their children, was it the gnomes that were missing children? Or was it the gnomes that were all dead? Gnomes were missing, there were missing gnome children. Uh, Cam and Bert and, specifically. And they were dead. They were, they The adults were dead. I had my thing on airplane mode. So it's, it's freaking out. Do you, uh, do you recall anything about... about magic, I, magic weapons obtained. <clears throat> There's so many different channels. Danny's Mace, 1d8 bludgeoning, 1d4 piercing on hit. But it requires 18 strength and 17 decks to wield it. Yep, I can. So it's really good, but it's hard to be able to use it. You have to be pretty stat oriented. All right, so I'm just gonna go try to sell it. Hmm. Yeah, you did hear that there were prisoners being held in um, a blood mist encampment. And where was that encampment? It was uh, there was a path, if you recall, when you're traveling through with Merciless by Widow's Falls. Yes, it's to the west. Yeah, so we're up there, so it should be up here somewhere. Uh, Perhaps we should uh, on our way out. See if we can help these children. Uh, sure, there was, where's... There was a reward. Where okay. uh, where would we find them? Uh, when we were in the woods, Mercilis said that she came across our camp. It was to the west of Queen's Grace. Uh, I think uh, that's where Widow's Falls is? It was yes. around that area. That is where uh, we found Z, and she pulls out a, a stick of dynamite from her backpack a little bit and sticks it back in. 
How, how much of that do you have? 36 pounds. And she has like this really excited <laughs> smile. She's to get freaking heavy carrying that shit around. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm glad we're getting horses. Yeah, we could try to stop there. I thought when I mentioned it to a guard or Camembert, he said not to go there because there was danger or something. How do you not remember? This was two days ago. Uh, so, much, <laughs> so much has happened. We could try to hit up their encampment. We'll be getting horses, so it'll be a little easier. Yeah. But what are you looking to do? Uh, the children. Remember the, uh, but the no. norm children? From the houses? I think uh, Blood Mist might be making camp at Widow's Falls. Oh, close to it. Close to it. And you want to go there? What, don't you want to rescue children? I think... No, uh, my children. I think... There's only three of us. Camembert uh, requested it, and we might get rewarded for doing so. I found it. You, you just carry you? around. Not carry it around. It seems awfully dangerous. It's not dangerous as long as I don't light it on fire. Hmm. Um. Okay. I see that you are copying my style. I'm trying to blend in with the riffraff. I don't blame you. Hmm. You're the riffiest and the raffiest. She's small. Right, the uh, just outside of Widow's Falls would be way closer than Bird Haven, so maybe it's worth taking a quick peek. <sighs> maybe if, perhaps. If it's amenities. too uh, if it's too well guarded, we can always just report back to uh, the Queen. That, yeah, that they're there, and then he could send a some angels. God, God King Kevlian to go take them out. <laughs> God King Kevlian. <laughs> I mean, how good could he be? He can't even catch a goblin in, or two goblins and a pirate. I don't know. Maybe he, he must have uh, lost that nose in some gnarly battle. What are the odds that he lost his nose to one of those drow that you hate so much? I, uh, <laughs> I know nothing of this. I know nothing of this, mm. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's just swing by Widow's Falls, or just outside of it, and see, see what's there. Well, first, let's stop the weapon shop. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we can do that. Um, so you got you guys are all going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So you enter into the armory, which looks like a it's a busy blacksmith. It's very hot in there. The heat of them smelting whatever to make new weapons. Uh, you see several customers, so it's a busy store, being helped by uh, different blacksmith that appear to be working there. And there is one guy, a human, who seems to be like kind of in charge, kind of directing everybody around where to go and whatnot. Uh, I walk up to him and say, are you in charge here? He looks at you and rolls his eyes. Yes. Uh, do you buy weapons? Yeah, I do. What? She why? She pulls out the spear and the mace because I've been looking to the Celsies. He looks at them. Uh, sh yeah, I mean, weapons are flying off our shelves really quick. We could use some extra stuff. What do you want? What do you want for them? Uh, how much are they worth? He eyes them over real quick. I'll give you a uh, hundred gold for both, which is generous. Generous. These are on um, magic items. They have imbued powers. Magic items? Aren't they magic? Uh, he takes them. He goes, "Let me, let me look over these a little, uh, a little closer." He sets them down. He's looking. Hmm. Looking over them. Picks up the spear. Plays with the feathers a little bit. Picks up the mace. Looks at like the. The, it has like a, it's like a spiked mace, and he's like, like touching the ends, the pointy ends of the spikes. Touch it. Yeah, these are pretty well made. They do seem kind of special. Throw, throw me a number. What are you, what are you looking? 300. 300? For both? Yes. Rolls his eyes. Sold. Whoa. Gives you 300 gold. I probably undersold it. Huh? Probably. Mm -hmm. You do see something that kind of stands out in this blacksmith. What do you mean? Um, <clears throat> my passive. You ever see how, like, in certain bars. Inside is 15. You ever see, like, Shaw of the Dead? Yeah. You know how in the bar that they're always going to in that movie, there was that gun that was, like. Yeah, the shotgun. Yeah, there's a shotgun that was up on the, uh, like, above the bar. Yeah. You see 
hung high in a very like presentable type of way, you see this long bow, very large bow with this very fancy white painted wood, and seems like a, some kind, it seems like it's special. Uh, what's the story of the bow? Ah, the white widow caught your eye, eh? Well, I crafted that myself. I made it to replicate an Asian weapon used by a Monronian vampire hunter in ancient times. They say the original bow was the original bow was made out of vampire bones, but I just made this out of wood and, and, and rope. But it's it's special, and Cambert even uh, did a little something to it to make it a uh, kind of magic. What kind of magic? Well. If you're to hit someone with an arrow, fi arrow fired from that bow, not only is that bow more accurate than a normal bow, but it has this magical cold effect. And if the person hit that gets hit with it is especially affected, they become incapacitated for a short time. It's really special. Mm. Uh, you even see that um, on closer inspection, it looks like there are some carvings of what look like the faces of elves on the wood of the bow. Seems very special. How much? Eight. Eight what? Eight, eight gold? Eight thousand gold. Oh, eight thousand. Oh, wait. What is this number? Everybody's selling things for eight thousand. Mm, it, we've had it for a long time. I'd be willing to make a deal. Well, I don't have anywhere near eight thousand. What do you have? I have eight hundred. Well, that's not going to cut it. Yes, then I guess we can't make a deal. Well, but that's fair enough. This is a beautiful craftsmanship. Appreciate that. You should be uh, proud of your, your, your ilk. Your I am. That's one, one of my biggest prides since I've, I've come to Queen's Grace and become a blacksmith here. What other uh, weapons do you sell? So Vessia will see this happening. Um, and she's going to Jedi mind trick whatever the blacksmith's name and use suggestion. Like, I think you could sell that for 500 gold. How does suggestion work? Uh, you suggest a course of activity, uh, limit to a sentence or two, and magically influence a creature you can see within range that can hear you and understand you. So it influences him? Yeah, so you'd, you'd suggest it. What's the Jedi mind court? So you'd be like, yeah, well, I could do that. Um, what does the effect a creature have to do to defend against it? Wisdom save 14. Okay. Would it know that? It would know that I suggested it. Uh, but I, anyone could say that. He did. He did save on it. Okay, then you'd be like... He doesn't know you did it? No, he wouldn't know. <laughs> He'll be like, no, I'm not... He rolls his eyes. No, I'm not selling it to you for 500 gold. It's the biggest pride of the Queen's, Bra Queen's Grace blacksmith. But, if you're willing to fork over some dough... What if um, Lord the Karth needed your bow? He could purchase it. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. You wouldn't give it to the... For Master free? Of war? Absolutely not. He Master would, of he, War. He respects my work. He wouldn't. He would never even have the gonads to ask me to freely give him over my finest crafted weapon. Um, He's more sense than that. Do you use? I'm valuable bows? to the city. Can you use bows? Um, I'm high elf. So, uh, what race is that person? He's human. Human. He's uh, he's got black hair, a little bit of white. In it, and he's uh, looks like he's middle aged. Um, is he handsome? No, rugged. Uh, in he's Elvish, hard. she'll she'll whisper, be like, "Is that something that you would need to keep me safe on this trip?" Uh, Vecnir speaks back in Elvish and says, "It couldn't hurt." Um, and then she'll say, "I'll be, I'll see what I can do if one of the lords can help us with that." Oh. Step out for a moment. Okay. Uh, what other wells do you have? Any uh, uh, weapons he, of not equal quality? Because obviously that is your best. He points over to the uh, the various suits of armor and weapons, and again, it's what's in the DMG. For uh, he has pretty much everything. So there's full plate. There's great swords, but there's nothing magical. It's just like basically everything in the DMG. They have, they are fully the, stocked. The only magical thing he has is that bow. Yes. Wow. So I'm going to go to the car. Uh, okay. What do you say? It's the best weapon in Queen's Grace? It's the best weapon that he's created. Yeah. Uh, Becky's going to pull out her whip. Like, is there anything that you could do with this to make it more dangerous? Pulls it. Mm, 
I could augment it. Maybe I could do. Like feeling it. It's like I could maybe add some very, very small spikes onto this or something like that. I could probably make it a little better. Yeah, no big deal. Eight thousand dollars. Is that something that you want me to do? Unless It'd probably take me a solid day. How much? Throw a number out there. Seventy-five gold. She spits in his hand. Make it one fifty. We have a deal. <laughs> she spits in her hands, and she goes, uh, "One forty-five and a bottle of wine." Sold. And she whips out one of the um, wines that he made, Ooh. and she hands it to him. He's, it was made on my sheep. It's the best wine I've ever had. You're Come right. back this time tomorrow. I'll be ready for discount. you. <laughs> Yes. All right. Uh, well, we, I guess we have to wait here for uh, Princess. Uh, yeah. Well, Do you need on. anything? Uh, well, the only weapon I really use is the one you don't want me to pull out. Well, you got two weapons. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. She wants to go to uh, 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 the Karth, and obviously she'll drop her disguise. So you walk over to the uh, the front gate of the royal council chamber. Are they still keep. meeting? I would say only about an hour has passed, so How, it wouldn't be a lunch or a break. So that was around noon when you guys arrived. Uh, so we could say it's around two o'clock. Okay, thank you. Just say it's eat. around two o'clock. So are they still meeting, or? Yeah, I mean, you don't know. It, it, they, would, it would make sense for them to still be meeting since they kind of work all day. It's a full-time job, but they do. They have a lot to. They have a lot to do. Plan a war, manage a city. A lot going on. Look, um, for, look for guys trying to blow up the city. Try to <laughs> trying to find them. Who would do that? Oh, we'll use once I'm outside the room. I'll use message, and be like, Father, can you? Step away for a moment. I have a request. Can he answer you? Mm-hmm. Um, he can say a, a sentence. I he think. says, is it urgent? And then I'll use my cantrip again and be like, yes, the sooner we get a response, the sooner we can leave and accomplish these tasks. I'll be right out. A few moments, a few, eh, a couple minutes later, he comes walking out the front gate wearing his uh, blue cloak over his black armor. Like, you come to see him with his... I have a blue cloak. It's with a- his... <laughs> with his sword draped on his back like normal and he walks up to you and what is it daughter um, I'll tell him about the bow and be like without the rest of the people I was traveling with I'm afraid that we need to armor the crew that I'm with hmm. um, and it's whatever the name of the blacksmith uh, says it's for 8,000 you didn't ask his name but continue. well I know what blacksmith shop we're in yeah um, but I obviously can't be carrying around that kind of money. Is there anything you could arrange for us to get such a fine weapon? He is very proud of that bow. Hmm. Even if I were to go there personally and ask, I, I don't think he would part with it. He wouldn't give it to you. No. I, I'm far too tried. So what, what are you suggesting exactly? Do you have money so we could? You're asking it? me for to give you money? Daddy, give me money. <laughs> <laughs> Vest, my dear. We speak you, with you, the queen. You are a grown woman. I, I can't. But I'm on I a mission. I can't coddle you and, and just give you handouts like this. <laughs> can't you? But Ted. But we're in a, a warring country, and I am with two people. You couldn't spare soldiers to protect us. You couldn't give us rangers to guide us. And you expect the three of us to travel a country at war with... Roll of persuasion with re- your renown, a DC of 18. You didn't buy the DLC. Man. Oh, is this pay to play? How much for that? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking him to just give you money. Uh, 15 plus 8 plus 2. 25, bitch. Buy uh, me that bow. <laughs> <laughs> well, my persuasion is a plus 8. That's fucking awesome. That's a, that's fucking Arm, arming, our, arming, <clears throat> arming the slay soldiers is quite taxing and difficult. We only have so much money that can go around, but... I could spare a little bit of coin to help you. It's not going to be enough to purchase the bow for 8000 but perhaps it can help. Yeah. And he reaches into his pocket and he pulls out 
20 gold. <laughs> when you guys have a D100? D100? Oh, I got one. I got one. I have one. Yeah. I need a D10. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Gives you. Yeah, gives you a thousand. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'll do a hundred for every. Yeah. What? What? I, ro I rolled a ten. Or a, a, what you call it? Hundred for every. Uh, hundred. A zero zero. Roll. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Wow. So I got top roll. Yeah. Alright, I'll take a thousand coin. Yeah, it's more than it's a lot of gold. It's more than the bounty I had for Slice Neck as hell. Oh, but, but that is that is the most that is all I will be able to do. I didn't realize how my persuasion was. I should have just asked the fucking Are you sure? Yeah, maybe you should have just tried to persuade the dude. Um, it's really high. So 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 Shit. so bow to her father and be like, I appreciate this father. I will work very diligently to get our task completed. Daughter, I, I, I care for you a great deal, but I do expect to see results with all this help that we've been giving you. It's not much. I just gave you she's a thousand not, gold. She starts back. <laughs> I just gave you a thousand gold. And she kind of like, and she can't hug him because they're being professional. And, and Lord Cambert let you speak with your friends for like an hour and a half. He told me about it. He has magical powers that don't cost him anything, so... Well, his magical powers are finite, even though it might not seem that way. Well, then it's his fault for letting us use it for an hour and a half. And you know we use resources that we need when we need it. It's not our problem if they waste it on them. Results, my dear. As you wish, Father. And she bows and leaves. And when she nears the, uh... Uh... Whatever, wherever they are, um, the blacksmith, she'll cast... Disguise self again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, so she has her disguise when she was in court? Mm hmm. And the car didn't question it? He knows. She showed him before. <clears throat> uh, Becky and Roland are just sitting outside the blacksmith waiting. Okay. Um, she'll, she'll come in and to them and she'll be like, I couldn't get the full amount. Um, I was able to take a small loan of $1,000. Well, that doesn't help us. Well, I mean, it could, but it doesn't help us with the ball this one. Uh, we have to wait a day. I'm getting my, my whip augmented. So, being that it is uh, this time, we should head to the tavern. For what purposes? Well, first, I'm hungry. Yep. Second, I'm thirsty. Free food at the barracks. Well, four fucks the barracks. Let's go to the tavern. The tavern that you were, you tore apart. I didn't tear the apart. <laughs> so you did. No, you just Sneaked ran out, out the window. Uh, window. Oh. Yeah. So she's gonna take uh, the thousand gold, mm -hmm. and she's gonna put it in her bra. Oh, hiding it. That's hiding a lot it. of fucking coins. Oh. She got one big ass titty now. <laughs> she's got. She's kind of stacked, I guess, huh? Well, she was stacked before, so. Now she's mega stacked. That's mega okay. She's gonna hide it on her so it's not like a uh, sack of coin just hanging off her pocket. So you, so you guys are going to the bar? I guess so. Okay. So it's like midday, you get in the bar. It's pretty empty. You have the uh, bartender, uh, Boomadon, who you recognize. He is behind the bar. Does, does he still have a black eye? No. Uh, yeah, he I does, he but it's be. fading. So you have him there, you have, uh, and then you see that, that, I don't know if you guys remember, there was that, um, there was that human with black skin with that, the fancy armor, yeah. the orange armor, purple, like a purple cloak, like he was very fancily dressed. Uh, he's, he's sitting there as well. Beard here? No, that was, Beard here was a dwarf. Mm. He's, Beard here's not in there. Beard. Literally just Boomadon and uh, this black human. You guys did speak with him uh, a little bit, and I forget what happens. Was you guys start fighting everyone in the bar and shit. He tried to chase after uh, Stripe. Stripe. Yeah. That's it. It's only those two? That's, there's no one else in there. Uh, I'm going to walk in, and I'm going to walk right behind the bar, grab a, a bottle of whiskey, and elbow Boomadon again. He goes, you ready for round two? Oh, oh no. I don't think so, Vecni. You gave me a wallop last time. That was... <laughs> That wasn't even close. 
How are you doing? It's good to see you again, you my doing? friend. I'm doing good. I saw you about your window. I didn't know what was going on when those guards rushed in. Yeah, I trust you have everything sorted out now. Uh, I hope so. That's good. What is Boomer down? He is a Goliath. No. Mm -hmm. I beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I know that. But I, I wasn't. Uh, He's dressed like a wasn't there. That was awesome. Uh, you whooped his ass. That was that fight was designed to be winnable for a non-monk. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was just super easy. Yeah, barely. It was like uh, uh, Gohan's uh, girlfriend before Spobovich went crazy. Videl. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he turned his head. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. She was, she was kicking his ass at first. For this is all you're talking about. Yeah, you do. I do. Okay. She wasn't kicking his ass. He was letting her do that. No, uh, she broke his freaking neck. She snapped his neck. He turned it backwards. And he just went... He wasn't using his... He was holding back. I understand Tremendously. That. Uh... Well, thanks for the bottle, and I'll go over to a table. He gave you a bottle? I just took it. Huh. He goes, uh, you gotta you do have to pay for that, Maggie. It's okay. Well, you, know, you trashed trash my bar the other, the other time. I, I would, yeah, we were friends, but you still have to pay. Uh, I have a bad reputation, which means uh, you can get away with minor criminal offenses, such as refusing to pay for food at a tavern or breaking down doors at a local shop. Since most people will not report your activity to authorities. So he still says what he says, but I guess he lets it go. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds uh, like Bessie right. will look very confused at why it's just not paying. Oh, you have to pay for that. It's okay. Come on. Uh, but uh, Boomadon um, looks sad. Boomadon. just got robbed. I will pay for a, a chicken. Uh, will you really pay for it if I bring it out? <laughs> of course. But you... Okay. <laughs> so I'll pick up a table. He goes in the back. When he goes to the back, I'm going to go around the bar and grab three glasses. Okay. And uh, bring it over to a table, put them down, blink, 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 fill them all up to the top. What did, what did you grab from behind the bar? Is this spirits or wine? It's whiskey. Whiskey. And she'll put it down, she'll put her feet up on the table. And she'll slug the one shot back. Go ahead, Ronan. All right. Put well, some hell on that chest. No one will uh, take the glass. He'll sip like half of it. <coughs> uh, this is uh, pretty strong. It is whiskey. I'm not going to enforce the uh, intoxication stuff right now because there's no stakes with what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. so I'm not going to enforce uh, that right now. So as he drinks half Nothing's of his happened. bottle or half of his glass, I'm just going to fill it up as soon as it's half, uh, half after it's emptied. Are you trying to get me drunk, back me? Well, I don't want to do it myself, uh, or, or by myself. All right, I guess that's, that's fair. Are you gonna... Come on, Bess, best yes? drink some of these. It's pretty good. I don't remember if I said best yes drinks or not. Now yeah, you can decide. I don't remember. Uh, she'll take it and go. <laughs> <laughs> I, Come on, you are dressed like the riffraff. You got to drink like the riffraff. As she starts to pull her hood over her head, and she's like... <laughs> <laughs> Do you like this? I love and it. And she slams the half glass down. <clears throat> I fill it up, and I fill mine up. Okay. So... Uh, I wasn't so, going to do it, but it might be fun. So once you get your whip tomorrow, the plan's to head to Widow Falls before we go to Birdhaven. I believe that is uh, was the right course of action. We should be getting it around mid-afternoon. So if we head out to Widow Falls, it'll be slightly dark. We can get the, the jump on the camp. Mm. We always wait until it's dark. Things that we all have dark vision. Okay. Ooh. Save some key deeds. How, how strong would you say that that whiskey was? Whatever whiskey is. Like 90 proof. So we're gonna say pretty strong, right? It's up to you. It's your bar. 
Um, is it watered down? What's your What's your Constitution modifier, everybody that was drinking? My con mod is plus two. Plus two as well. So three and three. My what? Con, con mod. mod. It's plus two. Yours is plus two. We're all pretty similar. All right. Do I get proficiency because I'm a heavy drinker? Um, no. So we're gonna say after your after your first drink, because the whiskey was was fairly strong, mm. you can start making rolls. So how many drinks do you guys have? Um, Half. I'm on, I'm on two. You're on two. Mm. What about you, Roland? Probably not as fast as her. So one. One. All right. So you're you don't have to roll anything. Vecni, you don't have to roll. Or I'm sorry, Vesti, you don't have to roll anything. Vecni, you could roll one Constitution saving throw. With a DC of nine. No, uh, no I'm sorry, eleven. Fourteen. No. Actually, you're good. So we'll just sit there talking. I'm gonna regale, roll in with some uh, high seas tales. How I fought right. that guy. What the hell was his name? He was going for the same position as I. Remember that game, that we, the Batman game we played, and there was a character in there. And we said to make him a part of the battle. Oh! The hell was his name? Oh! Oh! Um, oh, what was that guy's name? Ugh. Like Sashay, Sash or something stupid? Was Satchel? S was it Satchel? Sure. Uh, oh. see. But I'll start telling these stories about him. I have stuff for, for, for that character, but it's not, I don't print it out. I don't already. I think his name was Satchel. So here's like. Fessy Ash and her new outfit. That's right, I forgot, I forgot all about that. I got a pretty new mini. There you go. It's gonna take two months to get here. Well, don't you have a 3D printer at school? It doesn't do a good job with minis. They're too detailed. I thought you already had a VSCS shot mini. Yeah, but I had to put regular clothes on her. Uh, <laughs> Brian's got that money to spend. I don't, oh. but I just like minis. Minis are cool. They are. It's just her, her new outfit. Looks good. Yeah. We okay. don't have we don't have a role in uh, mini, do we? Nope. Well. All right. So what are you guys doing? Uh. Yeah, it looks really good. I dig it. That's her in her high elf form, though, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, she'd look the same. She'd look the same. Nice draw, just different colors. Different color. All right. Um. My edit those episodes. I try to do that. When you're disguised, I use the elf, the high elf. When you're not disguised, I use the drow. Neat. That's cool. So after you finish that bottle of whiskey, what do you got? Milk in that one drink, like... <coughs> oh, shit! <laughs> and every time she takes a sip, <laughs> make sure it's like a fucking never... Oh my God. You alright? I just got fucking Charlie Horse in my hamstring. Go rub it. No, I'm good. Get over here. Get over here, Brett. I heard that actually you can rub it out better if you go for the inner thigh. <laughs> that tassel was a pirate on the tusk cart, and he uh, became a pirate a little while prior to Vecni. He was talented and good, a good worker, and he looked for Golden Tusk's approval, which he had. He was rising in his favor until Vecni, with Teclas, pushing for Vecni. She quickly overtook the favor of Golden Tusk, and Tassel was angry and jealous. And one night, 17 years ago, he killed two crew members on one of the smaller ships and took off swearing he'd have his vengeance on Golden Tusk, Teclas, and Vecni. Is he Blackbeard from One Piece? <laughs> That's like, is that the same story? i never watched One Piece. Uh -oh. There's a whole thousand episodes you could watch forever. We eat the chicken and go to bed. Okay. Next day we get up and go pick up my whip. All right, you, you get there and the blacksmith uh, hands you your whip and you could see that there were these little... Um, Little pieces of metal embedded in the whip near where, like, where you would crack it and like make contact with somebody. It seems like he augmented it slightly. <clears throat> what does it do? Your whip now does an additional plus one damage. It's a plus one whip. That's pretty sweet. Is it magical? No. Oh, can I weapon become magical at a mm. certain level? Guess it will be then. That bartender doesn't, or that bartender, that blacksmith doesn't have the ability to imbue ma weapons with magic. He did for that bow. He didn't. He said the camera did. Oh shit, that. Batman comes out this week. Mm hmm. I'm going to see it on Thursday. I forgot. Oh, you know. Now what? 
Oh, we'll go get our horses and make our way to Widows Fall way downtown. Yeah. We had to stop at one camp. Okay. But we gotta travel there, so sixteen spaces. No, we're going to the <clears throat> find those uh, blood mist and try to rescue those children. Right you mean the guy right that you down. lied to or Sworn lied to and said we were friends. That's gonna definitely kill us when he sees us. <laughs> I wasn't there. Whatever you guys want to do, you guys can go wherever you want. I was asleep. There's stuff for you to do all over the place. That's what Roland um, and I discussed doing. So uh, Jesse still has the map that's been fixed up by uh, that guy, and she's gonna be looking at it and says, "So it says here, we have to go south." Well, first we're gonna go west uh, to see if we can find those gnome children. And what is and what are you gonna do? You're going to buy them? No, we're going to freeze them. How? Well, how else do you free children from? Uh, Did you slavery? not see slavers? the orcs that were with the blood mist, mm. or the ogres, whatever they were? I did not. No, I did not there was like nine of them. Oh, gals! Remember that night when I was scared in the woods? Yeah. When I saw them walking past our camp? No, I don't remember. That was early on. When it was only you and Joe that met. Yeah, but he knew that I was scared because he stayed up all night with me because he, he didn't have to, mm. he doesn't have to sleep. I don't remember. They have a large group of them. We can't take them on. I'm not a fighter. Well, that's something you can maybe put them to sleep. I don't think my, my magic's that strong. So, let's go find out. It is a good time to find out. Is it? But Plus isn't it better to be alive? pull out a stick of dynamite. You're going to blow the kids up? <laughs> Being a not sick children, we're going to head west to try to find that camp. So you guys arrive at the Queen's Grace Stables, and uh, as you're walking up, you see some stable boys, young young uh, young humans, walk out with these three horses, and they hand one to each of you. You guys could describe what your horse looks like if you want. Oh, I have the horse. Oh, they walk out with I'm these two horses. horses. I have Curva. Curva. I forgot about Curva. They walk out with two horses, and they you could describe what they look like if you want. If not, they're just black. It's a black with a white diamond. In the center of his chest, and a white diamond on the center of his forehead. Okay. Mine's a uh, chocolate brownish with a uh, black mane. Okay. White mane, matched up diamond. Mm -hmm. So where are you guys going to go? We're going to head west towards Widow Falls. See if we can scope out that camp. Is that what you guys are doing? That's what Roland and I agree on. That's up to Bess. She's going to come with us. Well, I'm not going to go by myself. Okay. Uh, let me see the map. So, Merciless kind of gave you a general idea of where this place was. So, essentially, it's like in between. You see that, that fork in the road south of Queen's Grace? Yeah. So, basically, it's to the west, like halfway between the beginning of that path and Whittles, Whittles Falls. Okay. So we're going to say it takes you, if you're leaving in the morning, you guys can get there by midday. Okay. Do we get to the camp or we get in the general vicinity? So around midday, you see, as Merciless described, uh, as you, you go on that path, there seems to be a newly cut path. That's not, it's not quite as clear as the main path off to the west. And you kind of believe that this is probably what Merciless was talking about. Mm. Are you guys absolutely sure we have to do this? Well, uh, I mean, what makes those missions more important than uh, rescuing a couple of children? I think uh, we'd earn Canonberg's favor if we did manage to rescue the children. <sighs> She's going to keep her, her hood down low and be like, okay, well, oh, um, fine. Fine, fine. It'd be okay, don't worry. We won that fight against the, uh, those 
bug bear. Bug bear or no, we don't know. Goblin that. things. Those giant goblins. And uh, we didn't have any help. Is that what <gasps> It's true. So we're gonna keep our eyes out looking for this camp. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna start traveling down that that, that newer newer path. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> so you're not you're not on that path for very long before uh, that small narrow trail opens up into like a large clearing. You see um, near the start of the clearing, you see these two old stone guard towers. They they weren't just built; they look like they've been there for a long time. Uh, further further past, further down, you could see this very large wooden cabin with a greenish decrepit tilt uh tint to it as if it that has been there for a long time as well but it also looks like maybe it had some recent work done like recently someone had tried to fix it up a little bit and you could see figures around the cabin mulling around from the distance you're at you can't really make out what they are at a, at a glance uh, and there seem to be cages too a couple cages near the cabin uh, how far away are we from the towers or from the cat? The towers. From the towers? Mm, I'm going to say you're still in the cover of trees near the entrance of that, uh, near the exit of that uh, narrow trail, but you're only about 100 feet away from each each tavern, one to the, or each tower, one to the uh, left and one to the right. Do we see any markings like flags or sigils or anything? You do. Uh, flying from both towers and from the uh, cabin, you see the following sigil. So we're under the cover of trees, so we could assume that the towers can't, the top of the towers can't see us? You could surmise that. Uh, you see the sigil. And she was going to grab Roland and be like, that's a blood my symbol. So that means that's close. what we were looking for. I know, but are you sure? They had ogres or orcs or one of the big things. Yeah, that was sure. I'm going to uh, take my horse off the trail and hop down and just kind of strap it to a branch. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, Bessie, I shall follow suit. Do the same thing, yeah. Sure. And I'm going to try to make my way quietly towards the camp. Did we notice, from when we were on the horses, did we notice any people there or just buildings? Well, as I said, uh, there's not buildings. There's just the two towers and the one cabin, and you do see Those figures. Are buildings. Sure, you do see <laughs> you do see figures. You do see fi you do see figures in the distance mulling around the cabin. The cabin's much further than the towers. The cabin the cabin is about 600 feet away. It's pretty far. Okay, so I'm gonna. You see, there are definitely figures around the cabin. All right, so I'm gonna try to make my way slowly and quietly up closer. Are you all going or just Vecni? I'll follow. You're all trying to be silent? Yep. So why don't you all roll stealth? Ooh, I get advantage. Nice. I think that's what the A means, right? And describe how you're trying to move stealthily as well. Uh, where's my stealth? 17. It's okay. 17 as well. Okay. So whatever uh, Vecni does, Vesia is just going to copy. Okay. Where is stealth in D and D Beyond? Stealth is a dex based roll. Mm. It's an alphabetical order. Right there. Oh, Plus wait, 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 wasn't scrolling down. Uh, well, Becky's just going to stay behind trees, stay low. Right. She's going to try <laughs> to find. Alright. Uh, she's just going to uh, keep on the balls of her feet. Trying to keep less of a footprint on the ground to crunch leaves of sticks. Okay. She's gonna look where she puts her feet and skid around. So as you're walking, and Vessie is gonna follow every footstep. So as you're walking, Vecni, you hear behind you a few feet away. You hear loud crunch, crunch. Every step crunch. Then you hear like you know like when you're you're kind of trip over your own feet and you're like a, a stumble, crunch, crunch coming from behind you. She's going to turn around and uh, look at Roland and just do one of these angry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Roland just looks back at her and like shrugs like, I'm, I'm trying to be quiet. Okay, so how close are you trying to get to the towers? Uh, enough 
to be able to see if there's anybody manning the towers. Okay. Um, so you get closer and closer to the point where you're kind of lined up parallel, where there's a tower to your left, there's a tower to your right, and even at this distance, you can't see anyone in the tower. doesn't mean that, there's, that they're unmanned, but you don't see anyone in them from where you are. But they are quite tall. They're uh, 10 feet up. And They're can, stone. Can I see uh, uh, how if those people that were moving around that house, can I see them from where I am? You could see them. Do you want to like try to make out more about what they look like? Sure. You can roll a perception roll. Ten. I'm going to say from the distance that you're at, so you're now 500 feet away, I'm going to say that with your 10 roll, you still can't quite make out what they are, but you can tell that they are they seem to be kind of big. The humanoid size, but they're, they're kind of big. Wait. So that they wouldn't be like elves or halflings or anything like that. They're larger than that. Larger than that. What is that is your orcs. Orcs? Where? Shh! <laughs> well, there's a pro approximately 10 of those figures, by That's the way. Ten. How many? Well, that's approximately 10. So that was see. approximately 10 the last time, too. So is that all? Oh, I'm sorry, 11. I'm sorry, my bad. Approximately 10. Is that the entire Blood Mist Force, then? I don't know. 11 the orcs force. and that guy? I don't know if it's the whole force, but that's a, that's a lot of orcs. How many orcs can you take down? Big boy. Uh, well, I haven't really fought any orcs. Took down a few of those giant goblin things, though. I guess we'll, um, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's try to keep quiet and move a little closer. What? I said, uh, I'm going to try to move up a little bit to see if I notice any of the children. All right, so your uh, stealth roll is still going to, we're still going to keep yep. the same stealth roll we had. Okay. So how, how much closer are you trying to get? Where, how far am I from the you're towers? Currently, you're currently lined up with the towers. So right, right next to you're the towers? You're very tower? close to the towers, but you're about 500 feet away from the cabin. And you said mm -hmm. I noticed there's cages? You noticed that there are cages. Is there anyone in the cages? What your perception roll that you rolled before, I'm going to say that you can't quite make, you can't quite tell. Whoa. At the distance that you're at. Is there still uh, brush in front of the towers? Between the towers and the green building? There is. It's not heavy brush. It's not thick. There is. And if, you, if you were very careful, you would be able to sneakily probably move through without being observed. Would that be a, a new roll? The rolls that you had are going to stay for now, unless, <laughs> unless something changes. As of now, your roll stay. Uh, run. run and stay here. Best stay here. Okay. I'm going to move up and see what I can see. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll move, I'll move up a little bit. How much closer do you want to get? Uh, 200 feet. 200 feet closer? So you're 300 feet away? All right. Uh, you can make a new perception roll. Your DC is going to be lower than it was before. Eleven. What did you roll before? Ten? Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to say at this distance, since you're considerably closer, you can make out a little more. You could see amongst those moving around, uh, you see about eight of what appears to be orcs. You're familiar with what orcs are. And three creatures that you don't recognize without a check. Are but they you, the same size as orcs? No. They are ten feet tall, with bulky, massive frames. Jesus. They have ugly, monstrous faces, and they carry some kind of round satchels, each of them. They also have necklaces. They appear to be made out of bone and are armed with javelin, javelins and huge clubs. Mm. Well, that doesn't sound like a good time. And again, the other eight figures are orcs. And they all have blood mist colors. Mostly black with like little pieces of mm. red. Some of them have blood mist sigils on their uh, clothing as well. Do I, from this distance, do I see the cage again? Yes. And they're empty. Uh, all the cages are empty? All the cages are empty. Are there any signs of the children? From there, I'm going to say from there you can't determine, 
but I will also say that the cabin is large. It's not a small cabin, it's a large cabin. It's very large. And as I said, it's green, so it's, it's been there for a long time, but it looks like there's been more recent like patchwork and stuff done to it to make it livable. Mm. Uh, can I, uh, and where's, if I'm here, where's the cabin? If I'm facing this way, is the cabin over here? Is it directly in front of me? It's pretty much directly straight. Maybe off to the right a little bit. Are there uh, creatures in front of the cabin, or are they all on the other side of the cabin? They're all in front, mulling around. So they're in between me and the cabin? Yeah, so if the cabin's a little bit, it's straight to the right a little bit, they're pretty much straight ahead. The, all these creatures. And there's a fire. There's like a little fire there. They seem like they're cooking or something. Mm. And they're, they're, what time of day? I, it, it's kind of, e it's basically evening now. Okay. So it's, it, it is the dusk, we could say. It's so, getting dark. So it's getting darker. Uh, I'm going to go back and talk to these two and say, uh, I cannot see if there's any children. I, can't, I haven't checked the building yet. You cannot see what? It, uh, the children I have, but I could not see inside <coughs> the building. Did you see if anyone was there? I was there, I'll see eight orcs and ten bigger orcs, or three bigger orcs. Hmm. Bigger orcs? Yeah, they are ugly and they have a satchel. A purse, I don't know. While the, hmm. while the orcs are greenish colored, these creatures are more like a fleshy color. They are fleshy, they are ugly, they are tall. Hmm. I do not know. You can roll a, a nature with a DC of 12. I'm going to say in Vecni's Travels, you probably haven't encountered these creatures before, but maybe the nature, the nature roll will decide if you've encountered them. Nah, I've never okay. seen them. So you don't know what they are. Never seen them. But he's getting darker. Perhaps we wait a little longer and I can make my way back there in a couple of dark. Sounds like a decent plan to me. Right, so we'll keep an eye on them and just wait until it's dark. About how long will you wait? So if we, if we can say it's 6 p.m.-ish now, about what time will you wait until? Was it, what, did their seasons work like ours? Is it summertime? Is that what it's you? Then it would get dark at 9? Or is it, what time, time does it, it get, get dark? dark? It, get, it, gets, it starts to get dusk around 6. So it starts to get darker from then on. So it'll be dark around like 7, 7.30? 7.30 it'll be dark, so for sure. I'll wait that long. Okay, so it's 7.30 now. Right. The equivalent of it. All right, uh, I'm going to go check the, uh, the building. I'll be right back, and I'll sneak up to the is building. It, is anyone going to go with him, or is, is Fekni going to go by herself? Uh, go by herself. Do you want me to come with you? Sure. No, it doesn't bother me. All right. Another, another stealth. You guys can roll new stealths since oh, you waited yeah. an hour and a half. Hell yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, 14 plus 5, 19. Okay. 23 this time. Nice. All right. So you guys are being is super spicy. Yeah. You're going as well? I'm going to let them leave me by myself. Okay. All right, so describe where you're going and how you're going there. Uh, are they still sitting around the fire? They're in the same spot. They appear to be. There's, there's firelight, so you can still make out. Uh, they all still seem to be in the same approximate places. And we never noticed anybody in the towers? You never saw anyone. You never really went up to look, but you never you never saw any sign of, their, of them being occupied. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to, like, come around to the back of the cabin. Okay. You guys can do that. Is there a window? There is one window near the center of the back of the cabin. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take off my hat and I'm going to pull up my, uh, my poncho just to cover everything so everything's black except for my eyes. And I'm going to look through the window. Okay. So when you look into the window, what you see is that the window is very grimy and dirty. There's like black and green old like mold and whatnot mm. it needs it looks like it needs to be cleaned off before you can really see into it Shit. Uh, what i can't see through the window so i'm just gonna just a little in the bottom corner to see if i can wipe it off 
why don't you roll a sleight of hand with a low DC. 14. Okay, you're, yeah, you're able to do it. Um, so you look through that little corner of the window and you see into a really large room. Um, it's this long, large open space. Each side of this room has eight doors. So it's a big, it's a very big, as I described, it's a very big. Um, you see, uh, on the same side of the room where you're looking through the window, it looks like over the left a little bit, there's probably uh, an unused fire uh, fireplace, it looks like. You see like uh, the backsplash and like stone of what was, was probably a fireplace there, you can surmise. In the middle of the room, there's a large desk with a, a really old looking, Cronish woman, uh, just very again, very leathery, very. Uh, you get to see like varicose veins, gray hair, sitting at this desk, uh, and she's just staring at the front door. She doesn't seem to be really moving at all. Uh, Is she dead? You don't see her moving. You see the back. You're looking at her back. And she's got this just frizzy, long black hair. She appears to be human. I mean, as far as you could tell from behind her, and she's unmoving. I describe it to these two. Okay. Uh, she doesn't. Is that that's all you see in there? That's eight. Oh, well, I guess the children aren't here. I guess we can go. So there are eight doors on each side. Mm-hmm. On each. So there's on six each side. Yes. Oh, Jesus, Jesus fucking. It's very large, as I described. Mm-hmm. And there's only one window. In the back. Yeah. Mm. Uh, she doesn't sound like someone who would be a part of the blood mist. They just seem to be hiring orcs and muscle. But I don't, she's not moving. Mm. Perhaps she's dead and she, I don't know. So I'm going to watch her for five minutes. Just sit there and see if she moves. You don't see her move even the slightest inch at all. Do I notice her chest rising and falling? No. Is there a fire in there? As I described, to the left of where you're looking through the window, on the same side, and the same wall, it looks like you can see the backsplash of what would be a fireplace, but it doesn't appear like it would be lit. You don't see any so light or anything. Uh, it is. Yeah. You have dark vision, don't you? There's no candles or anything? And there's nothing lit, no. Is the window able to be open? Like, is it a, a just a, plain, a pane of glass, or is it able to be open? It looks like a window that you could open like this way, like you'd be able to pull it open. From where you are. It looks like it. Okay. And... Ronan. Uh, go around the corner and see if you can see the, the orcs and what they're doing. Uh, okay. I'll do that. I'll go around the corner. See if I could see what the orcs are doing. They appear to, again, they're around the fireplace. Uh, it appears like they're eating. Uh, whatever they're cooking, it smells like it's pretty... <laughs> it smells pretty good. Um, they have, uh, and they're with those other creatures, those, those larger, bulkier creatures with the flesh color, the fleshy mm-hmm. colored ones with monstrous faces. Those creatures are there as well. There's three of them and there's eight orcs. All right. I'll, uh, go back to where Vecni and Vess are and I'll say, uh, they're, they're all around the campfire. It looks like they're gonna be, uh, having dinner or eating something. Yeah. Vess, can you see what this creature is? And I'll move out away from the window. I'll look. You see what I described? Is it alive? Is there anything you can do? You can make, from, your, from that distance, you can make a medical check with disadvantage with a DC of 18. <laughs> um, is there anything on the desk? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, there is um, what looks like two, like beat up envelopes. Uh, Vesius will cast Mage Hand and push one of the envelopes off the desk, and then the window's closed. It's Mage Hand. Could you go through? The, could you go through the? Uh, you can. It doesn't. A window. It's where you see. Uh, it yeah. appears at a cast point it. you choose. With oh, the mage. oh, okay. But Mage okay. Hand isn't invisible. Right, unless you're a rogue. Yeah. You can do it if you want. I didn't even think that was an option. I'll let you uh, try it. So she's going to go like this, cast my hand, and go. And then just uncast it. Like, poke the lady. And then 
I didn't mention this also. There's a uh, there's also a wooden chest near the desk okay. as well that I didn't know. Uh, right. so and then she's, she's she poked her on the shoulder. shoulder. And then she's like, you look. Okay, look. All right, so after Vess moves out of the way, you look through the window and you see the woman uh, still not moving, but now she's standing. It's not moving at all. Scary shit. <laughs> We're back to the window. Did I see her stand up? No. Vess moved out of the way. So you looked, climbing. and now she's standing. Not moving at all. Do it again. What happened? Nothing. She looks in the window to cast it again. She's like, she's standing. What are you talking about? She's not moving. She had to move to stand up. Just do it again. No. Come on. Don't be scared. She's going to find out. Find out what? Then we're out here. How? What did you... Did it again? So you didn't, you didn't look to see what the reaction was? She's gonna, I have to look to, to cast it. So once I do and then poke, I'm dropping so she can look. Yeah. So Vess ducks out of the way and you look through the window and what you see is you are now face to face <laughs> with this old lady with these very dark, almost black pit, pits of eyes with uh, these this Is this the yellow... same thing that we saw on the ship? No. Okay. With this yellowish teeth, um, and these very just wrinkly uh, lips, and you see her staring right at you. What are you saying? It didn't work. Do it again. What? Do it again. It didn't work. She's gonna scream. She goes to look up, and she goes, <gasps> and she goes about to scream. And Megni grabs her. The old lady starts to move. She lifts her arm like this. Kind of similar to that old other old lady. Mm. So her arm like this. But this oh, one's okay. a little taller. The one, the on the one who approached. No, the, the one that approached Rar. But this one's taller. This one's like a normal sized woman. Mm -hmm. Puts her hand on the window, pushes it open. You hear <laughs> creak! <laughs> pushes it open. trying to run away. And she goes. And she reaches back, grabs the window. I'll grab the window before she closes it. Okay. She looks at you. What are you doing? I'm going to pull my sword and try to stab her with it. Roll party. Uh, the old lady, she sees Kevlian. I'm sorry. Sees uh, Vecni uh, draw, out the, draw out her blade and tr attempt to stab her. So what the creature, what the woman does is her face begins to contort, her eyes start to turn yellow, her whole body starts to change like into a bluish type color, her hair becomes longer and, and thicker, and her skin is just going bluer and bluer, darker and darker blue as she grows, and she becomes this monstrous looking creature. Mm, fuck. And she, uh, we can place her at the back of the cabin. She's technically in the cabin, but. All right. How are you, Roland? Uh, pro probably to your side. There's a bunch of stuff she could do. What do I even do here? She's really close. Did you say she grew in size? Yes. So, yeah. Okay. She still fits in their house? Yes. Okay. Do you consider her humanoid or no? Type. Oh, uh, actually, no. All right. That goes out the window. Down. She uh, holds out her hands out the window and pushes forward as this cone of blue cold magic shoots out towards you guys. You guys are basically all together, or how you guys? Uh, well, how you guys he's looking around standing. the corner. All right, so I'm Roland's standing, not lined up. I'm standing you. in front, and Vess was probably to the side of me. All right, so then uh, that means that Vecni and Vess must make a constitution saving throw. Mm -hmm. What is the, what would, we, what would the save have to be? 16. 16. I'm say what the save would have to be. 20. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, 13. So you made it, what was your save? 16. What, and you're just 20? Mm -hmm. So you each take half of that. So you each take eight cold damage. And then it's Vecni's turn. Uh, well, I got my sword drawn, so I'm going to, uh... You go what? I'm going to stab her. Okay. That's a 19 plus. Hit. All right, so it's a three. It's much more so it's a D6, right? Um, 11 slashing. Okay. And then... She resistant to that? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll take an unarmed strike against her. Sure. Fourteen. Fourteen to hit, miss. Alright, best. Um, I cast Dissonant Whispers. Was that you the You need one? to make a Wisdom 14 save. Okay. Uh, fail. Is that a damage spell? Mm hmm. Five plus five. Sixteen. Uh, psychic damage. Sixteen. Okay. And the creature, uh, on a failed save, you take uh, forty-six psychic damage and must immediately use your reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows from oh, you. Oh, that's bad. Okay. This combat brought to you by Miller Light. So she's gonna move thirty feet all the way to the front door of the cabin with her reaction. Okay. So she's now in the cabin, all the way in the, at the front door. Let's get out of here! That's not my turn. I can still say it. Yeah. Mm. I said that. It's and turn. which, where are the ogres? They're, they're, they would be on the opposite side of the cabin. One, in the direction you just sent her two. running. Which way did we come from? I'm going to say we came from this way. Yeah, yes. Cabin's okay, Then I go that way. 30 feet. Okay. If that's end of your turn, then it's rolling. Why'd you move my guy off the board? That's your oh. guy? Well, yeah. you were using Prince for your guy. Oh. Because it makes more sense than Descarth. Is that Descarth? Yeah. All right. Uh... Well, Descarth's mob model's not here. Oh, well, then whoever the, the drow guy was. Uh, so she just like went like straight through to the other side of the cabin? She didn't, she's she still didn't in get there. through. She's still in the cabin right by the front door. Oh. Okay. So do I have like a line of sight on her? If you look right through the window, you would, she'd be straight ahead of you, 30 feet. If you, you, look, know, if you look through the window. You'd have to move five feet that way. Yes, that's correct. You'd have to move five feet that way to be able to see her. Hmm. The window's open, because Vecni wouldn't let her close it. All right, I'll move five feet to the window, and I'll, I'll bonus action Hexblade's Cursor, and then I'll Eldritch Blaster. Okay, was Hexblade's Curse too? It's yeah. like Hunter's Mark. Okay, uh, a little bit better than that. So it's, uh, I guess, pl plus two to damage roll, or plus two bonus to damage rolls. On a, get a critical on a 19 or a 20, Ooh, and I guess get better. seven HP if it dies. Damn, really? Yeah. Can you give me that? All right, I'll roll for the attack. Sure. That's a one. Ooh. All right, to hit. Yeah, well, that doesn't hit. All right, so I miss, so I'll uh, run 25 feet in the direction Vest was going. So the creature looks back, so uh, Vecni could see it, right? Mm -hmm. so the creature looks back at Vecni and you, it smiles, this disgusting, toothy, yellow smile. Gross. And it uh, moves back towards you, and as it moves towards you, uh, we, I'd have to use half my movement for that, wouldn't I? Hmm. You used all your movement to get out of the way, so you, you couldn't get to me. Well, mm, that's 10 feet. So she's going to move 15 feet towards Vecni, and as she walks, she's going to pull out a glaive, 
and then she's gonna stop and once again she's gonna point her hand out like this towards Vecni. She's gonna reach out towards Vecni and this magical effect is gonna start to overtake Vecni and she's gonna have to make a save of a wisdom save. Okay. Of or what? Thirteen. Uh, what happens if she feels it, a magical effect is start it to a take charm spell? Yes. Right, Get advantage okay. as an elf. Cool. That's what she's doing. Yeah. An 18 plus, what is it, wisdom? Yes. Yeah. Like good at that. So it didn't work. Thank God I had advantage. Exactly. This one was a six. Yeah. Is she, how close is she now? She's now 15 feet away from the window. So I guess that's 20 feet away from you, I okay. guess. Uh, I'm going to pull out my longbow. Okay. And I will, can I shot her? All right. Is she like right on top of Kevlian now? Or? No, she's 15 feet away. Yeah. 25. To hit? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it hits. I missed, I missed something for her. Fuck. That's the wrong place. Uh, Damn it. Fuck it. Uh, eight plus. Nine piercing. Nine piercing. Okay. Does she look hurt? No. So I see these two running. I think he's going to be, where are you going? And I will, one, two, three, four, I'll go here. All right, Vess. And I'll keep my eyes on the window. Uh, I'm gonna continue towards the woods. 30 feet? Uh, and dash. 60 feet? Mm. Okay. How far are we from the woods? You are 600 feet away. Oh, jeez. 600 feet away from what? The horses? If you're going back towards the woods where the horses were, it's 600 feet. Wow, we went that far in? Yes. Damn. Which I didn't state. Okay. Yeah, you did. So, uh, rolling. Yeah, that's all I could do. So again, the, the creature is yeah, 15 60, feet I inside the feet. room. So I'm... It's in the room, so I don't have a line of sight on him? Not from where you are, no. You'll probably get a line of sight if you move towards me. Alright, I'll move uh, towards Vecna. 5, 10, 15, 5, 6. Well, it's 15 feet in the room, so you're not going to see it from there. All right, I'll move a little, like, 15 feet closer to back me. I would say you need to be at least five feet more over to see into the room 15 feet back. I would say, I would say from there, yes, you have the line of sight. All right, I will roll my Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17. That does hit. Uh, 14, 16, uh, force. Okay, that's nice. pretty good. Six, Damn. five, I'm strong. <laughs> I'll roll the 10, then I get the hex blade plus two and a plus four because of uh, agonizing blast. Was that your turn? I want to use my whip, but I know it makes a lot of noise. Uh, I'll back up towards Vecni like Damn. five, 10 feet. Yeah, there. You had enough movement to do that? Mm -hmm. I think so, right? You only okay. moved uh, 20 Damn it. feet here. Yeah. Can I throw this thing? The glaive? No. No. Um, Probably could throw it with disadvantage. It's like 2060 or something, I think. So the creep, it doesn't have it doesn't have that on it. It doesn't have any thorns. It doesn't say she can. It's like a, it's basically a, a pole axe. Mm. Oh, okay. Or a machete on the end of a pole. Never so the up. creature moves 15 feet uh, to get to the window. And then uses half of its movement to climb out of the window. Can it fit out of the window? As it, mm, it rips through the wall. Mm. Yeah, because you said the window is very tiny. Yeah, it can't fit through the window. No. So it's just got an arm. Come on, man! She doesn't want to wake the, the children, at least. So it's gonna uh, use another know. spell. Oh. The creature's body begins to contort and change, and. 
It goes from corporeal to incorporeal, and its body starts to become a, a, into a gas, and it kind of just like it becomes this gas that's floating Whoa. by the window. Oh, also, I didn't mention this. I I missed this on my last turn. Uh, when his turn starts, it begins to to have this faint glow to it, and it appears to become slightly healthier. Mm. I didn't mention that last time. It's kind of important. Yeah. Well, I just skipped it. I didn't do it. I just I forgot about it last right. time. Okay, that's it has a lot of abilities. Uh, that's it. That's its turn. So it's affecting. So it's a ball of gas. It's it's uh let's let me see how to describe this. Uh, it's a misty cloud, uh, in this form. Well, I, can't, I don't have to tell you the, the, what it can do, but yeah, it, it just be, it looks like a misty cloud, by the window. You saw it transform into the cloud. Uh, hmm. It's healing in cloud form. What is the area effect? It doesn't say it's a heal. It doesn't say it's healing stops when uh, it becomes a cloud. Mm. It, doesn't, it doesn't say that. So I'm gonna assume it does. Well, that kind of sucks. What is the area effect of one stick of dynamite? Does it say on there? Make a suggestion. What do you think makes sense? I don't know. Maybe like a, a ten foot square like that. That would make sense for. That's fine. Let's write write it write it with your pencil on there so we don't forget. And that's what we'll do. Is dynamite loud? Yep. Okay. You have not noticed the orcs and the and the other creatures starting to move towards you or anything. You haven't heard any movement or anything. Now, have we made noise? You've made the, the noise of. Eldritch blasts and swinging your sword it's and a crackling energy beam. Mm. What is Eldritch blast? Oh, was it loud? This is crackling. Oh, depends on what you consider crackling. Well, this could be crackling. They still haven't moved towards you, so that you that you observed or heard. Uh, Vecni's going running through. on grass is quiet. Yes, uh, it is. Yeah, Vecni draws her bow. And she looks back at Roland and she goes, Is that fucking bitch turned into gas? Or into a cloud? And she just draws her bow and I'm going to hold my action to when it becomes corporeal again. To fire my arrow. Okay. And I'll, I'll scoot back one, two, three, fifteen feet. That's Sixty more feet away. I'm going to let really say. I'm just trying to see how... Okay. Uh, roll. Uh, I'll hold an action to Eldritch Blast, and then I'll move uh, close or I'll move next to Becky. This way, and that'll be my turn. You see the gas float through the window and ten feet towards you. So if you want to move the model ten feet towards the group. And back me. Did the thing become gas? Is it still gas? It's still yes. gas. Fuck. Are we backing up to the woods? They they did move. They did move. Well, I don't know if Roland did. I think Roland just held an action. But Vest no, moved. He moved. Vest yeah. moved away. Yeah, but are, where we are, are we backing up to the woods? You're going in that direction, ish. But it's still far away. To the woods. Um, burr, burr, burr. Burr, burr. Uh, I'm just going to again draw my bow, and I'll move 15 feet further this way. How close are you guys to each other? They're like. We're like neck and 15, neck. 20 feet away. Or, okay. Yeah. Vess. 60 more feet. Rolling. Uh, yeah, I'll move the same direction as Vecni and I'll hold an action to Eldritch Blast the thing when it becomes corporeal. The creature uh, uh, appears to begin to solidify and becomes corporeal again. And, and then it runs, uh, well, it can't dash this turn, but it moves 30 feet towards you guys. 
and it seems to be quite uh, determined to catch back up to you. All right, well then we both fire our thingies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Crit 20. Okay. Not a crit 20, but uh, 24 to hit. Yes, hits. Where is my D8? It's running, out, it's running out of abilities it can use. <laughs> Good, because that thing's scary. Ten force. Okay. Uh, nine. Plus six. Fifteen. Plus five. Twenty. Piercing. Fuck. Okay. It's still alive. All still right. pretty good. So now it's our turn. Uh, who just went? The Oni went? Or the creature went? That was our, uh... Don't let her. <laughs> <laughs> don't let her. I'm running, running. I'm running away. I don't give a shit. Uh, if it just went, then it's Vecni's turn. Alright, so Vecni is going to, <clears throat> as this thing is now ten feet away, Vecni's going to drop her bow, redraw her sword, and charge towards him. Okay. And I will attack with a massive hold. Okay. 25. Yeah, it hits. Of course, you are always able to check me. I don't want you to think I'm cheating. <laughs> that is a high roll. You can look. It's right there. I can't see the boxes there. Yeah. It's the green 20-sided dice. Still can't see it. Really? I'll, I'll have to just take your word for it, I guess. Nine slashing. Okay. Uh, flurry of blows, which is two unarmed attacks as a bonus action. Whoa. That costs key, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, a 12, 19, and a 13. Oh, to hit? Yeah. The 19 hits. The 13 does not hit. <gasps> Seven punching. So the total damage was seven plus nine? Seven. Oh, seven's a total damage. Seven is the unarmed strike. Well, how much did you do with the sword? I didn't put it yet. Was it nine? No, no, it's nine sounds okay. It's a D6 of plus so seven nine. plus nine, so 16. Okay. All right, still alive. Does it look hurt? It looks hurt. It's not like on its death throws. You're up, kiddo. Best. I'm up. Oh, yes. <laughs> rolling. Uh, rolling will look at Vecni charging and he'll kind of like shoulders and cast Armor of Agathus on myself and go up to uh, go up to the thing. But that was my action, so I'll wait till next turn to attack it. All right, so then, uh, the creature goes again. So right in front of it is Vecni. Mm -hmm. It, um, oh, actually, you know what? Hmm. How close, Roland? How, you're, you're also really close? We're both yeah. right up against it. All right, so at the beginning of its turn, it starts to have this faint glow again, and it appears to get slightly healthier. It's going to just, uh, it's going to take a nice firm grip on its glaive and bear down at uh, <coughs> Vecni with two, bless you, with Thank two you strikes. Thank Where you. the fuck is my key? Yeah. Thank you. So the first attack with the glaive is a 10. Yes. Second attack is a 14. Miss. Yes. <laughs> Vecna, you're up. Uh, I will uh, a slash with my sword. 18? Yeah. Uh, yes. <sighs> Seven damage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to, again, flurry of blows. Okay. My flaw is I hate to admit it, and I'll hate myself for it, but I'll run to preserve my own hide if the going gets tough. That's a scary monster. It uh, is very scary. 21 is scary and scene. an 18. Yeah, we saw those ghosts on our show. They both hit. I did. Best right? didn't see that. I said we both. That was frightening. Yeah. I said we that, both. That was... Yeah, that was... Well, I think we both got You guys are so close killed. to being no, dead. No, you didn't get killed. I didn't. Me and me and uh, friends were down. Killed. Yep. Those creatures were terrifying. They were terrible. Okay, so so she slashes with the sword, 
And she'll follow up with a kick for eight and a kick for seven. Or 15. Damn. Still alive. So slash across his Hurt. chest, a knee to the gut, and then she'll kick to the jaw. A roll. Uh, oh, baby. Mess. He's that's messes right. up. I'm assuming you're running. Mm hmm. So rolling. All right. Um, up close, so I'll swing at it with my short sword. How far have you ran? Are you close weapon? to the tree line or not yet? He's ran 60 for three turns. Okay, so you're still no, four turns to 60. Not the packed Plus weapon, 30. but the regular short sword. No, I would. No, because I would, should be. You're, you're like over halfway there. I should be uh, like 330 yards or feet from the start. So you're getting there. Uh, 15 to hit. Miss. All right. Then, uh, that's my turn. Do you have a bonus? Uh, what can I do with a bonus action? Do you have a dagger? I do. Stab him. All right. I'll stab with the dagger. I don't get the... You don't get a modifier fire. or anything? Yeah. yeah, sure. You can. Hmm. Actually. Uh... 23. Yeah. Uh, 1d4. I do get the plus 2 from the Hexblade curse, though, because it's any damage. Okay. Uh, so 6. Just grab it. <clears throat> Done. Ah, Alright, it's creature's turn. Um, it glows and appears to get slightly healthier, but it's a pretty hurt. And then um, it holds its hand out. And appears to be using uh, some kind of a magic ability again. Okay. So I don't think this is a save. Two. Ten. Seventeen. Twenty-one. Twenty-nine. Thirty-five. What do you uh, casting sleep? Forty-two. Uh, how much HP do you guys have? Who is the lowest HP between the two of you? I got how much do you have? Twenty-three. How much do you have? Thirty-four. That's temp HP with temp HP. Yeah, it would include that. All right. So uh, Vecni falls asleep. No, I don't. You cannot put an elf asleep with magic. That's true. You can. <gasps> Boom! You wasted your turn. Yes. True. You can't put him to sleep either. It's true. <laughs> Duh, idiot. It wouldn't. It wouldn't know. The, it cre wouldn't know. the creature right wouldn't there. know. Camp has an advantage against being charmed and can't be. Put can't be put to advantage. sleep. Half elves too. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Not only did I not know, but this creature wouldn't know it either. Wouldn't know. So yeah. it tried to, and it failed. And it looks. It so it does it, and he's like, ah! and nothing's happening, and it's like. Looks confused, like, huh? <laughs> yeah, this fight is not going the way I, I... I should have thrown two of these things at you. Uh, no, that would have been way overkill. It has not even hit you, has it? Oh, it hit you with that cold at the beginning. It hit me for eight. Uh, okay. That's a lot. That's you a passed lot. the save. If you failed the save, you would have taken 16. Yeah, eight's a lot. Vecni. Uh, Vecni is going to... But it can only do that once, unfortunately. She's going to bob and weave her way around. As this creature tries to cast a spell, she's gonna ooh face side, it. She's gonna sidestep and get behind it, and you get advantage. To try to cut this bitch down from behind. 16, 16 plus seven, twenty-three. Hit. Come on, kill this fucking jerk. You can use your whip on it. I'm trying not to make noise. Why would that make a lot of noise? <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> uh, Ten slashing. Okay. And I will take an unarmored attack. How much key do you have left? Two. I I can make one unarmored attack. Without using key? Without using yeah, key. Okay. Two. Yeah. So I'm only making one. I've flurry, already done flurry, uses flurry blows yeah. twice. Okay. Oh. 18. 18 to hit. Okay. Yep. Hit. This creature's supposed to be hard for you guys. 18. Yeah. I mean, eight. Eight damage? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. I'll try. Best. We got flanking. Rolling. Flanking. Do I get advantage too? You had flanking on him right, on it right now. So that's advantage on yeah. attacks? Yeah. Okay. Because you're, you're on both sides of it. Come on, 
crit, come on, crit. That's 19. Ooh, crit. All right. Did you did it! Doesn't mean it doesn't mean you killed it, sure. but maybe. Uh, so is it max damage with the modifier, and then I roll? Yeah, but then you'll get you'll get the modifier twice. So you can do max damage with the modifier, or you can roll and add the modifier, and you'll get modifier twice. <laughs> On a crit. No. Oh. No, you don't get the modifier dice. You just roll the dice twice. You, you get max. We do. You we get max damage, and then roll. And then you get to roll. Oh, okay. All right. So max damage for that. Oh man, I rolled mine twice. Damn it, I fucked it up. I could have done more damage. All right, so it's uh, six. Because it sucks when you crit and then you were like roll two ones. It fucking sucks. That's yeah. what happened. Uh, six, seven, eight. Wait, no, six. Let's see if you kill it. Ten. You're an accountant. He's not 14, good at it. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen damage. Yeah. It looks fucked up. Until now, it heals. <laughs> well, it, it, when it's its turn, it will. Are you done? Wait, hold on. I <laughs> fucked it up. Hold on. D6, uh, six, and then... Six plus six, two 12, is eight. Four, oh, no, I 14. No, 14. Is okay. <laughs> that your turn? Yeah. All right, it's again, it's turn. It starts to look a little healthier. I am tired. I was up at 450. That's and it's going to come at... It's going to turn to roll. Really? Is it obvious that your armor of Agathis, is it um, is obvious that it might be dangerous for the creature to attack you? Uh, or is it not that obvious? Probably. Well, there's there would be like a shimmering of like frost in the air around me. So I don't know. It would... I think this creature would still swing at you. So okay. it's going to come down at you twice with, the, with its glaive. Sure. Come on, baby. Well, I mean, does it... Is it smart? Might be smart. You don't know. 26? Yeah. I mean, you're still going to attack something 26 standing in front of you trying to kill you. And a 10. 10 doesn't hit. Right. So, sure? how much damage does this thing do? You take 38 damage. That's something that's actually Dan, a lot of damage. That's something Dan would do. What? You take 873 no. damage. 13. 13. On the one hit. Just knocked off my 10 HP. Uh, <laughs> and you take 10 cold. 10? Yo, did you kill it with your cold? It's still alive, but it's, it's fucked up. Vecni. Uh, I'm a slicey dicey girl. That's a lot of damage. That's why I was asking you, like, does it look like, is it obvious 19, that it would get yeah. hurt? Well, I told you what it looks like, so it would be. Thank God, because the other one. What's your modifier? Because that's. Plus seven. It's dead. No, is it. Oh, five? your damage modifier. Five. Yeah, describe. Uh, so as this thing swings and slashes across uh, Roland, he goes, <laughs> hits it with frost. It starts falling back, and Beckney just, as its momentum is coming back, just sticks up with the short sword, two hands, <laughs> and Roland just sees the tip of the sword <laughs> straight through the chest of the creature. And she just stands to the side and lets the thing fall to the ground. So it falls down. Um, we get in the priority. Vecni quickly turns around and sees the orcs noticed. Well, you can you see them from there? Um, they're that well, way. They're yeah, you can't see them from fire. there. They all, they're all, you could see that there's commotion. They're looking at each other confused, like they were alerted somewhat. Nice job. You each get, yeah. for the killing blow, I'll give you just 15. Okay. But on top of that, you each get 966 experience. What? There's a 2,900 XP it. creature. I did damage to it. 900? Yeah. 900 and, what did I say, 66? 966. Right. Yeah, 966. 966. Damn, you guys did a good job. I'm just going to do that every time. I'm just going to get damage in the beginning and run away. Like, let you guys fucking up. I don't know why people shit on monks. They're fucking awesome. You, if it was if it was hitting you, you would be you would be down. It just it missed both of its attacks on you. Well, you got Dan. You got Dan. Well, Pensai monk, I get plus two to my AC if I have my Pensai weapon in a hand. Nine sixty six. He said. Its modifier is decent. I just rolled bad. Shock. Uh, so we look around and they don't notice. Well, they they're they're looking around and they don't notice where we are. They're looking around like they they heard something. All right. They don't know exactly where you guys are or anything. Say, do we have time to? Go back and get the kids out. That's uh, that's it. Lay low a little. I'm gonna make my way back to the uh, the cabin. Uh, Where did I, uh, where's Vess? Uh, she took off running back towards uh, the she horses. Was a coward like a brother. Um, <clears throat> brother is pretty cowardly. Uh, I could try to uh, transform myself into an orc, but I don't know the language. Sounds only. There's only, how much was there? Orcs? Eight, eight orcs and three of those other creatures. Only eight orcs. 
So oh. you probably noticed that's how I saw a random one hanging but, out. Uh, maybe. No. Uh, I could disguise myself as that thing before it transforms. The old lady. Yeah. What well, is a good idea? Uh, that? she spoke common to you, right? Yes. Um, Vesius, when she gets to the tree line, she's gonna duck into a bush and then look back to see if she can see what's happening. Alright, that's... You have dark vision, right? Yeah. It's only 60 feet, though, right? Yeah. yeah. So, no. It's dark vision is 60 feet in, like... Gray. Pitch black. But is I there, guess... Is there is moonlight? Moonlight? Like, what's the lighting? Like... There's no moon. Okay. So you can't see. So she's just gonna hide in bushes. So and yeah, look, do that. look at the fire where the orcs are. To see, All right. you can see uh, that they they are, are like you can see like there's commotion. Like they're not just sitting calmly eating like they were before. They're like looking around like the fuck. Are they standing up to walk around? Half of them are standing up and half of them are still sitting, but they all look confused like they were alerted. All right, but they're not like actively searching or anything. Yeah. All right. I'll uh, do my disguise self, my mask of many faces, to look like the old lady before she. Okay, cool. And, and then we both run towards quietly and to the uh, cabin. I'll use okay. my last spell slot. Do you want to roll a new stealth? This is a very important roll. Mm. 12, 17. Okay. DC's 12, Brett. 8. <laughs> So as you guys start running uh, back towards the cabin, you look like the old lady. That's true. Brett, or I'm sorry, Roland uh, trips and he lands hard in the in the grass and he makes a really loud crunch poof, sound. And um, Fess, or you can't see, or you could see, you could see by the fire, mm -hmm. you could see the orcs and those three other creatures uh, all look in a certain direction, get up and start walking towards that area. I help him up and continue running towards the, the cabin to get yeah. him inside. Um, well, the orcs are running or going towards in this direction. Mm -hmm. uh, like I am really, going really slow, like no. audacious walk. They're walking with purpose. Okay. I'm going to panic and be like, and I'm going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast and just shoot it into an area. You have that? Yeah, I got it when I leveled up. Oh. I don't like shooting it in the bar. Yeah, like not like. So you were barred. It, it gave me blast Eldritch a Blast. It, it, yeah, I don't know. It, it says I have it. Box, I can't though. pick it. It just showed up on my. Oh, thing. okay. And I'm gonna blast like 120 in the opposite direction of where I knew they were, and like at the ground. So it's like a. And then I'm going to hide in the. Okay. So the orcs kind of like change direction and they start running towards that to investigate it. I like it. I think it was a good idea. Okay. So you guys reach the uh, window. All right, so I will help him in the window. Okay. And then you're inside. Crawling after him. So again, you have the desk there, and the doors. There's a chest. There's eight by the desk. There's eight doors on each side. I will go to the first door on the left. I'll go to the door on the other side of uh, where Kevin's going. So the one on the right. I'll open it. All right, so um, the door that Kevin opens has <coughs> Damn it! four human children and four gnomish children in it. Jesus, and the one that Brett that. opens has eight gnomish children. Um, yeah. That's only two doors. Yeah. Yeah, we have 16 kids. <laughs> it's like 101 Dalmatians. Hmm? Are they sleeping? They are, but they wake up from you opening the doors. They get startled awake. Like and you can see they're, they're sleeping. Beds are very th threadbare. There's no mattresses or anything. They're just laying on like really uncomfortable looking hard surfaces. Uh, Vecni is just gonna be like, shh, 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 I'm gonna have to get you out. What? Shh, shh. Did, did my mommy and daddy send you? Shh, I'll talk later. Okay, what do you um, want me to do? Stay down. I'm gonna go to the next door. You see another uh, eight children, four humans, four gnomes. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Every, every room has. Uh, it's either a sp even split a four and four or a full eight gnomes. Okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, this is like so. How much? Like how many? How many kids? Is one Dalmatians. What the shit what we just said. Ten doors. There's sixteen doors. Sixteen doors. Sixteen times eight is two hundred and eighty-eight. Damn, that was quick. Was that right? Wow. 
No, it's that, not. That sounds wrong. That sounds, sounds like wrong. too much. It's, uh, eight times eight, eight is 64. Six, 16 times eight. Yeah, uh, no. 128. 64 yeah. total, no? What? Isn't it 64 total? Oh, it's because I have magic, in, magic initiate. Oh, 64 on each side. So 128, yeah. That's a feat. 128. So I'll just blast. Uh, there's 128 kids in here? This yeah. is like 101 Dalmatians. Show all the kids. Uh, Vecni's like, run it. Let's get him out. We gotta get right. him going. Um, uh, can I see the orcs? If I stop and look for them? No, because they're not by the fire anymore. And they're farther than 60 feet away. Can I hear them? You do hear them. They ran in the direction. You hear them like trudging around in the direction where you uh, fired the Eldritch Blast. Um, I am going to fire another one deeper into the woods. Hmm. Hold on. Vecni's, while he's doing that, Vecni's going to crawl out the window and just have Roland hand, him the, hand her the kids. All right. Uh, yeah. So Roland will be opening the doors on the other side, and I'll say, "Hey, I'm here to. I'm here to rescue." All right. Uh, <laughs> I will. I will drop the. There's a, there's a, detect, a fucking there's freaking a deception out. roll, right? For what? That's a, what's one of the rolls that exists, right? I don't you have would a roll a deception. Uh, yeah. yeah. Why don't you roll? Why don't you roll a uh, deception? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I'll drop the old ladies, guys, and I'll say. Uh, Hey, I'm, uh, I was sent by Cannonbird. I'm here to rescue you. Oh, my uncle sent you? Yes, yes. D- just come on. <laughs> okay. go. Just shut the fuck up. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, I'll open the other doors and I'll tell him I'm, I'm here ten. to rescue you. Come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. Ten? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sounds like they're continuing to go in the direction of the second blast. Alright, they, they listen to you. Yeah. So you have like 128 kids. Crowding There's this, so uh, kids. it's a shitload of kids. There's a lot of fucking And they're all like, the so older kids. How big is a no reach kid? Small, like, half, like half, the half the size of a, a regular kid. Like, so would they be like this? And they're all like, under, all these kids are like, malnourished. They're shit. all under 10, most of them are under 8. They're young. Shit. Then you could squeeze them into a room. They all look hungry and cold, mm-hmm. and they're, they're wearing like threadbare clothes, they look dirty. Uh, Some look like they've been there for a really long time. Others look like they haven't been there that long. After we get them all out, Vecni's going to look at Roland and she'll be like, Roland, you take point, I'll take the back. Okay. Uh, should I switch back to looking like the old lady? It doesn't not matter at this point. I think it not at this point. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll take point and I'll try to run towards the woods, leading the kids back to where we had our horses tied up. I would say you're able to do that without any issues because the orcs are the orcs aren't anywhere near you guys. Alright, so can I can So I, you just see a wave of kids. Um I'll use when they come in range, I'll I'll use message so it's just a real whisper. I'll be like, Fuck me, the orcs are in the woods. Be careful. And I'm going to use a second level spell slot and cast invisibility and cut myself invisible. Okay. I'm fucking shitting my pants right now. <laughs> those are the two bravest things I ever did shooting those Eld- Eldritch Blasts. It helped. It definitely helped your friends. Mm. All right, it, so we get back to the woods, and uh, we just keep trying to go 600 feet back towards the horses. Yeah, we're going to make our way back to the horses. You'll be able to do that without any issues. Nice. Okay. Uh, Once we get to the horses, how far is it to... Uh, it's like a day's ride. A half day. Yeah, but we got... Kids. 155 million kids with us. This is going to take you twice as long. Yeah. Uh, Vecni is going to just make a quick overview and see the, whichever ones are the youngest, the smallest, that can't keep up pace. None of them are babies, but there are some that are like toddler age, three or four years old. Uh, and you know what it's like to have toddlers, right? Would it be easy to have them just follow you? No. Vesias will, will come back, but she's going to stay invisible. Mm. And she's going to just... What? That's oh. me. Where uh, where did you go before? I um, distracted the orcs. Oh, good, good. Um, yeah, as you can see, we found uh, That's all the kids. kids. Vess! What? I hear you. Where are you? I'm invisible. Vess, hop on one of these horses and start riding. Get to Queen's Grace as quick as you can and get some rangers here. We're going to start leaving the children, but we can't. Uh, we need backup. Try to get as close as you can to Queen's Grace and uh, see if you can message someone there like Camembert or the Well, I have to be with 120 20 feet to use message. Yeah. Get the rangers, get the guards, get somebody. 
Find the prince, find the goblins, we need help. But guess how quick, we'll stay here with the children. Well, we're not here. We'll tr- we'll try as to... she's saying that, Vecni's going to reach her backpack that's on the horse and pull out the two lengths of a uh, 50 foot rope. And she's going to tie one to this side of her belt, this side to her belt, and start telling the kids to hold on to the rope. You guys are just hanging out there? No, we're... we're... Okay. Um, how many of there are the children, are there little toddlers? About 10% of them. 10% of 168, so that's 16. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 16 and a half. 16 and a half. So I'm going to use the, the rope to try to keep them together. You know how the, you see the kids holding the chain gang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a chain gang of toddlers. It works. Um, they do that all the time in yeah. schools and shit too, yeah. when they take kids outside. Okay. We've got um, a chain gang of kids. Cameron Burt. Did he describe his niece that we're looking for? It was uh, several children that were nieces and nephews that were abducted from his uh, sister, sister's house. Oh, his sister was found yeah. seven nieces and seven yeah. nephews were taken. Seven and seven, uh, so 14 of them. Fuck. Go up and head. Okay. And the kids are all holding so. it, so there's going to be a um, bunch of kids on the sides of the ropes mm-hmm. holding it. Vessies will take as many toddlers as she can. So she has, I'm assuming where we had the rations has like saddlebags. Yeah. It's just going to empty the rations out of the saddlebags and put little kids in there. I'll dump the rations out of mine and put toddlers in my saddlebags. It's not a terrible oh, idea. It's not. Okay. And I'm going to hand Vesh... Is that, cover all the, is that going to cover all the toddlers? There's 16 of them, right? I don't know. Well, let's just say we get three per bag. Gnomes are like this big when they're toddlers. Yeah. Okay. They'd, they'd be like little baby babies. I'm going to say you could do it just to make this a little easier. Um, does Cameron Berg... Do, were his niece and nephews gnomes or they're all nephews? Yes, they'd, gnome. they'd be one hundred percent gnomes. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't I have, I'll tell like Camelberg has seven nieces and nephews. If we could bring them, I'm sure that would make him want to send troops out here faster. Not if you just bring them. Not if you bring them. So I have his all the, the the little babies on the horse, and she's like, start to ride them. I gave her my horse, and I'm going to use. My second in, uh, second level spot and put invisibility on the horse. Can you heal? Yes. The horse has invisibility on it? Mm-hmm. And you do? Yep, we're invisible. How long does invisibility last? An hour. Is it concentration? It is. Oh, okay. then I, can, I can't cast it on two. Where would it say concentration? It would have a C on it. Yeah. Is it oh, that's filter. I was looking at them. It's just regular. We're gonna end the session. Oh uh, yeah, it's soon. only concentration. Okay. So it's only one. So I, I'll but just I drop it on myself and what? not put it on the horse. Wait. And okay. uh, you want me? Can I tell that they're hurt? No, I'm not really looking at them. Um, I'm trying to worry about the kids. Do you? Are, are you trying to pay attention to that? No. Okay, then no. But with my passive perception of 14. If you were trying to really examine them, yes, you would see they were hurt. But if you're not, really I was more worried about the 160 no. 60 kids we have. So I'm going to take all my... I don't think Roland's hurt anyway. I took three damage. Huh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take my... Uh, all the toddlers and take off on the horse. How many do you have with you? Well, I had 12. All the toddlers. Okay. And then I can have like two in an arm, so 14. So I can take two toddlers because like... You Are gave you... me your saddlebags. I have mine full. I gave baby. you my horse. You can just hold the reins and ride it. The horse will stay with you. Okay. Well, okay, so you still only have two saddlebags. That's six kids. Or we yeah. can put his saddlebags if he gives them up. Just hold the sure. reins. You can take all the horses. When your visibility, visibility runs out, are you going to recast it? or No. no? Okay. So I, about, so, I dropped it. So approximately three hours into your ride back towards Queen's Grace, I want you to roll a um, perception. Whoa. About three hours in your ride. So you're getting close. How long did it take, did I say, before? Half a day. Half a day. So, yes, you, you, you made, you've made progress. Pushing Corva yeah, on the other ones. He's sprinting. We weren't sprinting. Eight. Eight? Okay. So, uh, as you're riding through the woods, um, you start to hear this little bit of, like, rustling and whatnot in the trees above you. Um, and then a moment later, you hear these these elvish whispers. You hear, Sevastas. Oh. Yeah, I speak elvish. Okay. What does that mean? I don't mean? know what that means. Uh, that's the hunter's mark. Can't you? Uh, that's what he said when he said the hunter's mark. Yeah, what does it mean? Mm-hmm. So you hear, the El- you hear the Elvish like phrase for hunter's mark. 
you hear Celestas. Is it a voice I'd recognize? It's multiple voices. And that's where we'll end the session. <laughs> Great. All right, so me and you are directing a bunch of kids yep. on ropes. Got off the D. And on a field trip. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks. Yeah, we killed that motherfucking Oni. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it was. I got credit. <laughs>